Dude, this week fucking sucks, man. And it's barely even started. This, f I, man. I'm, I'm glad this game came out. It's one of the only things I've been, actually, I haven't really even been looking forward to it. But it's something to do because I have, while I've been trying to actually set up for actual uh, things, uh, IRL has constantly, constantly gotten in the way of everything. To the point where, that's right, I could have streamed yesterday. That's right, I, it's not like I wasn't there. That's right, it's not, it, it's not like I wasn't at my desk, motherfuckers. I simply decided I didn't want to yesterday. I was having a bad day. But I'm here now, I'll be streaming the rest of the week. Insert anything here is your problem, question mark. None of your business. Usually whenever I have any kind of IRL issue, I resolve it before I'm willing to talk about it, and this will remain the same. None of your business till I decide to say so. But yeah, it's been a bit hectic the last couple of days. But this was, uh, this one's easy. I don't know, I didn't even have to, like... I turned it on, I took a look around, and I was like, yeah, this seems good. This will be a solid, solid time. I've been meaning, and I've mostly set it up now, uh, a new Kenshi thing I want to do. Uh, which, if I have the fucking time at some point this week, I want to do. But God knows... God knows time is something I have less and less of. But uh, we're going to use UWE for it. So if people know what that is, we're not using Genesis. We're going to use UWE because I wanted, I wanted to trim down the size of the, uh, the mods a little bit. dying I'm actually quite healthy aside from my allergies my constant ever-present chronic allergies which I actually think I'm going to the allergist about again soon maybe they'll tell me I'm not healthy nah I am due like a super injection though which will apparently solve it but I may go bald <laughs> I might go bald. That's the side effect, is that you can just go bald. Woo! Dude, I've been tired of this shit on my head. All right? I've been getting kind of sick of it. So your career will be over? Dude, I'm not even going to use a webcam today. That's how you know I'm tired. Is I'm not even... I'm not even fucking gonna. It's not even set up, dude. There's a cap over it. I'm not doing it today. I don't wanna. I don't need to. Bald or allergies, pick your tragic life issue. Look, you know, you know here's the thing about allergies that's always been like, okay. For me is that it's a symptom I understand and know is what it is and thus it doesn't like whenever I have something going on in my body that I understand the direct cause of that can't be like something else that's horrible I at least am made comforted I, like, I'm comforted by that fact to the point where the symptoms after that don't really bother me as much as I think some other people do. It's mainly the the thing that bothers me about almost anything going on in my body is like the constant question mark of like, do, do I blow up? <laughs> if this keeps happening uh, without a doctor intervening, will I explode? Am I going to paint the walls in blood if I, if I ignore this for too long? Will I explode? And, uh, yeah, all of them are already resolved as I won't explode. So it's just more of like a, eh. I don't like being miserable, but I also don't like the idea of 90% of the horrible side effects of the things that doctors have offered to give me, uh, to solve my horrible problems. 
you're really kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't. Where the the thing that they they offer to give me could also make me explode. <laughs> so it's just like shrug. Rug. You haven't exploded yet, and that's why so many people turn to weed. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Fucking love that shit. Oh, I can't get enough of it. Fucking love, love lighting that shit up. Bro. Bro. Never smoked. I've actually started uh, taking edibles to help me sleep. Uh, and it's actually been pretty solid for me. Because no, I can't take allergy. Like, I can't. A lot of the medications that help you sleep also conflict with my allergy medication. So I can't take them. So I struggle a lot to sleep because I can't take anything other than, like, straight melatonin to knock me out. But yeah, I've been doing that. It's not been bad. I don't use it ever aside from that, but it's been good for that. Although now the side effect is I oversleep more. I'm like sleeping in too late. It's not getting, it's not getting the fuck out fast enough. Tomato do drug? Dude. You know every day of my goddamn life. You know every day of my life I wake up, I get on my knees, I pray to God. All right, I pray to God that today's gonna be better than the last. And then just to be safe, I also take a sick rip of my bong right after, just in case he's not there to listen today. Just in case, because I can't handle not having a backup plan, okay? If I don't see the heaven split and light pour down upon me, it's then it's the bong. It's the bong right after. I give him about 30 seconds a day to let me know he's there. And if not... Bro. <laughs> I don't own a bong. <laughs> I've literally only had edibles to sleep. Ever. I truly don't own one. <laughs> but you don't need to own, okay, you don't need to own a bong to do a line of crack cocaine off of a, you know, nightstand when you wake up. That one you don't need tools for. In Minecraft. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, dude. For sure. In Minecraft. That's where we are. Dude, here's... Look, all my IRL bullshit aside that I have to deal with, there's one thing I do know, and then it makes me more powerful than you every time one of these things happens to me. Because some... Man, oh man. I have become incredibly powerful at dealing with bullshit. The bureaucratic systems of the world cannot slow me. All right? They can't. They can try. They can't. I mean, you have to deal with chat. True. <laughs> true. True, true, true. True, chat's a lot. Chat's a lot. Tomato IRS arc win. Dude, I wish the problem was always just the IRS, but one thing I've learned about my job is that they're always there. 
The, the arc, the IRS arc never ends. It's just slightly pushed back a couple months. And then they come back and they say, hi, we still don't really understand what's up with you. We don't understand your job. Uh, we're coming back on it. So I just accept that every three to four months, I'm going to get a letter from the IRS that gives me a panic attack and then spirals me through an anxiety crisis. Uh, and that, I mean, that was no different last week when it happened again, but that's not even the problems. That's not even the real problems. At this point, that's part of my schedule. Uh, but yeah, your poor accountant. Dude, my accountant fucking retired this week. I have to move to a new one. <laughs> yeah. But good news is all my documents and stuff that, the, that accountant has ever handled, they work in like a firm, so. They're, they were just like, oh, and if you still want to work with this place, uh, we can transfer all of your documents and your entire case over to someone else. And I was like, why? <laughs> why can't you just stay? But it's really no difference. One accountant to another is just explaining, like, my job one more time. And even, I mean, that accountant was like an old lady. And she got it. So I'm pretty sure anyone would get it. So I'm not really too concerned about that ever. But, ugh, it's still annoying. <laughs> I, hate have, I hate it whenever anyone that's, like, old and that I rely on for my, like, survival and to function retires. Because I forget that people are mortal beings. And I'm, like, in a way, I'm, like, oh, right on. Enjoy retirement. But the other part of me is, like, you should fucking die at that desk if that's what I fucking need. You dare inconvenience me? You dare inconvenience me? This desk was to be turned into your coffin. But then I remember that, uh, you know, I can just transfer to a new account and it takes about two minutes. <laughs> two extremes that I constantly flip flop through on a day to day. <laughs> Riddle me this, accountant. Riddle me. No, 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 no. No. It's cool. It's cool. I don't care. I don't care. Going Joker mode on the old lady. Dude, it's just like every accountant out here is old. There are no young accountants around these parts. Because normally I'd like, at this point, <laughs> at this point, and this might sound like a fucked up logistic thing to like go through when you're looking for a new person to hire for like your life for like shit that you got going on. At this point, I'm getting real, I'm getting a little tired of like hiring someone that's like old and then they retire a year after they start working with me and then I have to get a new one. And I'm like, I'm starting to think maybe I just avoid, maybe I just avoid that, look for someone that's like a little, a little like 20, 30 years younger. <laughs> but that feels, that feels kind of unfair to, to avoid taxes. Yeah, I could just avoid taxes. Ageism is a thing. It's just like, it's happened four times. <laughs> it's happened a lot to me across my life. It's happened more than I feel like it should. Four. I'm just so tired of contacting. I'm so tired of... Because every time it happens to me, it's like a it's like a doctor, it's like something like that, and I'll contact them and be like, hey, we gotta talk about something. And I'll get a fucking call back from like the the like some random like aide at the place that's just like that person retired a year ago and no one told you. You don't have this anymore. Matter of fact, don't call here again. And then they hang up and I'm like, this shouldn't have happened. This can't be happening. So, like, I need all of these jobs uh, with these people that I rely on to be replaced with AI. Fortunately, my job can never be replaced with AI, and that's why I'm okay with everyone else losing their jobs to AI. 
Uh, get me an AI doctor. Uh, get me an AI accountant. Do it now. Give me an AI dentist. Actually, I don't know if I trust a dentist AI. I don't know if I trust them in my mouth. <laughs> I don't think I trust like an AI, like a robot to like root around in my teeth. I think they might like they they could be like a bug and it could just rip my jaw off or something. I don't know if I trust that. AI doctor, you mean Google? Mayo Clinic has literally saved my life. <laughs> <laughs> They've literally saved my life many times. Okay, we can all agree to this. WebMD has saved my life more times than a real doctor has. Okay? Out, I'm out here trying to figure out if it's okay to eat this Tide Pod. And when I look it up on WebMD, it says, no, no, don't drink, don't eat that. And then I know. But you know what? If I call my doctor to ask them, I might be lucky if I can get a telephone call with them in four weeks. That's all I'm saying. When I'm down to the wire and I have like 40 to 50 random people trying to peer pressure me into eating poison and I call my doctor and they put me on hold. All right, to schedule an appointment for two weeks from now. I'm going to shrug and I'm going to eat the poison because I'm going to assume that it's, it can't be, it can't be that bad. Even my doctor is willing to put me on hold about it. Only WebMD can save us now. Only WebMD. It's easier to see a doctor after you eat the poison. True. <laughs> True. WebMD's nuts. Alright, uh, add a mod note for that uh, chatlet that says uh, cringe. On, on it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Add cringe to their mod note. Thank you. WebMD does cause a lot of people to panic for no good reason. Well, I mean, that's not... To be fair. Okay, and I am a natural hypochondriac. I've known that for a long time. And it's something that I'm so conscious of now that it doesn't, all, it doesn't get to me very much anymore. But... It's not WebMD's fault that it's documenting. It's basically just a Wikipedia for weird bullshit. Okay, that's on people's. That's on people for choosing to dive into that database and pull what they will out of it. You know, I'm not sure I can be like WebMD. How dare you include all these things that could be wrong with me when WebMD is just like. We just archive this. We don't, <laughs> we, we just keep track of it. But yeah, I dare not, I dare not navigate to WebMD or anything like that for anything ever. I truly don't. I, I, I literally truly don't. WebMD has made me believe I have cancer. If you are a hypochondriac, at one point WebMD has convinced you you have cancer. At one point in your life, you have been convinced by WebMD that your time was up and you were already dead. You looked at your hands and they were bones. They were bones where your skin should be. It was just bones, it was a skeleton. You had died while you were reading. WebMD had confirmed it. Isn't it if your hand is bigger than your face? Dude. I fucking imagine. Imagine getting owned like that. God. That was savage. That was a savage play back in the day. 
to to be like, hey, check if your hand is larger than your face because if you do, you have cancer, and you make them so scared that they actually check, and then you get them to slap themselves in the face. You basically beat the shit out of them for it. <laughs> Uh, man, that was wild. What a wild time. To make to make someone fear one of the most truly terrifying and awful ailments of the human race, and then when they check uh, using your pointless and foolish method, you basically kick the shit out of them for it. You make them you make them slap themselves. Ah, the good old days. Brings a tear to my goddamn eye. Did you see? You see, thirteen's actually great update. I do not know what the fuck you're referencing. You just said numerals at me. You said Roman numerals. What does that mean? Just a game called 13 or something. Thirteen is that really old game, isn't it? It's a bold play. All right, I'm gonna give them some credit if that's what they're referencing. That's a bold play to simply assume everyone knows. That's actually, that takes guts to reference like some random thing and just assume everyone knows. I don't, I don't know. Overwhelmingly negative on Steam. What the fuck is this game? Hang on. X, I, I, I. When I try to search, oh, I see, 13 classic. Well, that can't be it. This game came out in 2003. Unless they're remaking it. I don't know. I don't care. If you have something you want me to play, put it in the recommendations channel, the Discord, not here. That's probably the better way to do it. Don't do a good stream today. At least for like an hour, I've got to go do my yard work. Don't worry, dude. We'll wait for you. Yeah, dude, we're gonna wait for you, bro. We're gonna slow it down a little. We're gonna pump the brakes. We'll wait. Has anyone else got any other chores they want to do? Well, I've been off the clock for three days straight. Anyone got any shit they want to do? If one more Monday comes through and I have bullshit happening to me in real life, I'm going to I'm going to do something ridiculous in Minecraft, okay? I'm going to have to launch up the Minecraft server. And and do something, okay? All right. I'm going to have to I'm going to have to <laughs> A world, <laughs> bro. He went into creative, dude. He just went into creative, bro. <laughs> dude, I feel so bad because now I've missed streaming seven days twice. But like, I shit you not, chat. If Monday comes around and like I can actually stream and nothing weird's going on, I'm going to stream the next session of Seven Days because it's like we actually only just now got to the mod content for the game. Like we're now at week four, and only now have we reached the point of like, like actually seeing new crazy shit. Like last, la like yesterday was fucking rad. I wish I had streamed it, but I was truly so tired. And like just wanted to recline and play something with everyone without having to think about it. But uh rest assured, uh it's still happening on Mondays. And uh next Monday I am planning on streaming it. 
because uh, I really don't think you need to catch. Everyone else had stuff going on in the game, okay? They all had like shit they were doing that required like maybe watching to understand. I did not do that much. So like you, from week one to week four, everything will look about the same on my end. There's not much new stuff. Because the new thing I was going to do was going to be next week. Because I have to, like, build an indoor farm. Which I'm ready to do. But, yeah, I'm at master farming, which means I can uh, move my entire operation indoors now. Which we need so bad. Growing the same corn plants for three weeks. You have no idea how much fun it is to watch zombies exclusively attack your f like base from the farm side and watch as Benji whips around with his fucking sniper and shoot a line through all of your plants in a perfect row and then try to explain how it wasn't him that did it. When every when the bullet perfectly crossed through every single plant in a line and then into the field beyond. Like, I saw Benji doing it. I decided not to drag him live for it because I know that he needed that XP so fucking bad and it wasn't a big deal because I was still making ends meet and feeding everyone. But holy shit, to watch someone perfectly collateral, like, boom, 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 like hit like three plants in one perfect line and ruin me and ruin me. Because every time those plants go away, I have to restart it from scratch. It was a rough day. But I mean, like, I feel like everyone saw those fish tacos. They saw what I was capable of by the end. It took a while. But, I mean, I've ascended. I would say I'm the first of our group to, like, ascend to their maximum power. I know other people got to their their upgraded class, but I'm the one who ascended to their maximum power the most obviously. Because the the floodgates have broken. I have I have the means to do so much. Benji sends his regards. I'm just like glad that nothing that they ever shot in the last two sessions of seven days was something that required um like that was only like one plant is what I mean so like they were always hitting like one of the ten corn I have or one of like the eighteen like potato plants they never hit like the one oh wait they did someone shot the cannabis there was a weed I was growing in that field and someone gunned it down and yes, when they shot, when they shoot a plant, it destroys it down to the seed. So someone did kill the weed. I don't know which one of them was the narc that destroyed the weed during a firefight, but it was the most out of the way of all of them. I kept it separate. And someone shot it. Just wait till they start using nades. There is a reason this next week, I'm, I'm like on Monday, I'm going to spend a lot of that session moving the entire farm underground into like the dugout system beneath our base. Because, uh, yeah. Fortunately, it's already mostly dug out because everyone's been like mining underneath the base. So I'm just going to rework it to be a farm. It's already, it's already emptied. I just need to expand it a little bit. But yeah, we're, I'm officially dipping into the, the, the supplies. I'm going to build the things I need. And I'm going to move us underground. Should be easy. It actually shouldn't be that bad to do. I already know how. I will need a lot of iron and steel. But I mean, we're reaching the curve where we have an insane amount of resources. God, seven days is so much fun. And like the boys were talking about wanting to do Factorio, like Death World stuff as well. And I was like, oh boy, I know at least Lawman and Benji are like hardcore Factorio nuts. And as am I, though I don't stream it, I've put hundreds of hours into Factorio. 
but uh, they want to do like an Omega hard like bug defense one, which I think is the best way to do Factorio for stream or else it's just people watching factories move. But Factorio with like the like a goal with like bugs seems like a pretty good time. Factorio is a backseat nightmare. I think a lot of that backseating can be easily avoided in co-op when you're actu when you actively need to work with your group. So, I'm hoping we get around for that. Cause that'll be a good fucking time. That'll be a fun time. On the idea of other big group games, have you considered multiplayer RimWorld? Absolutely not. <laughs> Chat, I've actually recently gotten an itch to play RimWorld again, but if I were to do that, I'd do something heavily modded on my own. I I have no desire to do multiplayer RimWorld again. It's just it's not that it's bad. It's just that like. I have my own speed, and unlike Factorio, where you can have a kind of like agency yourself to be like, this is my section of the factory where I do things my way, and here's the line that takes my resource out so you guys can siphon it off. But don't come into my zone. This is my factory among our four factories. Uh, in Room World, you kind of have to share, and I, I'm not big on sharing logistics. <laughs> If that makes sense. I'm not big on trying to find a way to mesh my form of organization with a second person. Because then I kind of just take a backseat and let them do it. It's all mine. Sharing is caring. You mean teamwork. The best Factorio bases are ones where everyone nods at each other and says, I will do everything relating to iron until I die. I will never see copper. And everyone goes, goodbye, iron bitch. Go on. Live your life. Never return. And they disappear into the distance. That's how you make a good factory. Okay. All teamwork does like that, that, that is true. Teamwork is just giving people jobs and then having them like do their own segmented thing because trying to like fucking mesh everyone's shit together in a big pile in any kind of organizational game just leads to like an actual fucking like bottleneck, I think. And that, that always freaks me out. It freaks me out. It makes me go crazy. True teamwork is task delegation. Exactly. Exactly. Egg. Exactly. Exactly. I don't want to see another human. <laughs> Unless the bugs are climbing over the goddamn walls about to devour us, I never want to see another person. Okay? Because if I'm seeing someone at my base, that means one, I'm distracted, and two, they're not at their base. Do you understand? This applies to any co-op management game. If I can see someone hanging out by me, that means they're not hanging out where they're fucking job is that means they're not doing their damn job it's like when we were playing seven days the only person i want to see anywhere near me on the farm is benji because he knows and god bless his soul despite the amount of farm crops he's destroyed on his own he also covers my ass and makes sure that nothing gets me while i'm doing my job in the middle of the night with no lights okay if I saw Sam out by the farm, I'd be like, what the fuck is this guy? Where does he get off thinking he can just hang out at the farm? What is he? What? Where does he think he is? Because obviously he can't believe he's at the farm. He has to be suffering through some kind of psychosis mental break because he shouldn't be at the farm. You know it's bad if G-Mart's at the farm. 
if Gmart's at the, I would say Gmart is the most goal oriented of the group beyond Lawman. He was always doing something. He always had something going on. If I saw Gmart at the farm, I would know all hope was lost because he was always like out. He was truly almost never at the base. I would know we were dead. Or like, actually, it would be worse if I saw a lawman at the farm because I'd be like, are you supposed to be like 20 feet that way building? Hmm? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Doomer farmer. It, it's like a thing where like everyone was doing so many quests by the end, but like truly I did very few and I kept pace with everyone. There, I think quests are really good obviously but once they start sending you a kilometer out i think it's time to slow it down on seven days because once it was like oh 1.5 kilometers to get to a quest i was like okay i'm just gonna sweep through like two buildings and get the same amount and get loot and then go home but maybe i'm maybe i'm just too much of a gamer to be fair to be fair uh Unlike everyone else, I have received two times in a row the highest tier shotgun that I can wield uh, way before I was supposed to get them. And I've been just using them. And I think I, I think I flat out in seven days am objectively just clearing faster than everyone else. I, I think I am. I haven't watched the others play on like their streams, but I think just from like how OP the shotgun with like max skills are, I just crunch through like a thousand damage in one shot to the head. Like guys with like super, like like truly the super modded zombies get cut in half uh, by me. Like I, I instantly kill almost everything in the game. You definitely are. You killed like 50% of the Horde Knight. I know for a fact, watching how much damage I was doing to those like zombies, like the, the really big ones on the Horde Knight, that if I hadn't had that coil gun, everyone would have died. We would have wiped. If I didn't get lucky and get that coil shoddy, we'd be dead. I think I, I think I truly held the line in that ring for half of that horde night while they were breaching into it. I just like machine gun blasting shells. But yeah, that won't happen twice, I don't think. Now you have a level 51 with no, just no ammo. Well, here's the thing is that I don't need it beyond horde night. I don't think I need the coil gun right now. I'm not, I was never using it outside Horde Knight, and I don't think I'll use it outside still. I can still just keep using the other one. Uh, but yeah. I do think we are going to get into the game soon. I actually, th I don't know how long this game is. Because it just came out. Reviews are positive. People like it. But, uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to beat it all in one stream. I don't know if I'll actually beat it all in general. But I'd like to get a good bit in because it looks really good. It looks it looks really good. It looks it looks like something else. It looks like an actually solid SCP game. Which I mean, there are a few. Uh, there's SCP. There's another one that's out that I'm waiting to have more updates on because it intrigues me very greatly. Uh, but I'll probably wait for that one to be like finished. Called like SCP Pandemic. Which I'd like to play like with someone else, like maybe Dave or something, once it's done, but it's not. So, as long as it's less buggy than Containment Breach, I'll be happy. Don't talk shit about Containment Breach. That game's a fuck. That game is truly a horror classic. As much as I dislike certain parts of it, I fucking, I do, I will always have a soft spot for that game and mods of that game because for some reason it, tr like, nothing ever lands, nothing ever lands as well as Containment Breach does. Hey! Onaki, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. That's awfully fucking kind. Thanks for the 10 gifted. Thank you. Thank you, kindly. Thank you. But yeah, no, it is kind of crusty. 
Hang on. This fucking game. Here, all right. First, uh, first, um, first complaint of, uh, of this fucking game. I got a con for you. Automatically launches Steam VR. That's a big con. That's a zero out of ten. Automatically launches Steam VR and switches my output to fucking VR. Messing up my audio on my main computer. Is it even a VR game? Of course it's not. Complaint two, something that only I, I guess, care about in this world. Okay, complaint two. The game uh, doesn't have a windowed mode and has no resolution options of any kind. Uh, instantly sets itself to 1080p and uh, you literally can't change it. Nothing you do can fix it, to my knowledge. Uh, which means the game sucks. Also, it has a motion blur setting that doesn't go below low. What I'm trying to say is this game was bad from the very beginning. It's never been good. <laughs> it's always been shit, and that's why I'm leaving. That's why I'm leaving. I'm ending the stream early. I'll see you all on Wednesday. All games suck eggs. Oh. Huh? What? What? Huh? Huh? That's the goddamn SCP Foundation! <coughs> I almost just choked on water. I couldn't believe it. Now that's the SC that's the SCP symbol. I am Carl. Carl as Stana. Hi Carl. A few months ago, I was preparing my dissertation in a restaurant on L Street. The pies there were rather to my liking. I became startled when the man sitting across from me said, Hey, can we slow the fuck down? Get <laughs> can I reset? Can I just like go back? I, the old man yelled something. And then I guess sat next to my guy. After seeing that there were other empty tables in the restaurant, I said to this man, Excuse me, I don't believe I know you. Is there something I can help you with? Or, Look, the seat's occupied. Find yourself another table, all right? Get the fuck away from me. Without answering my question, which it wasn't a question, the man continued talking to himself. Well, look, so here you are. You're graduating soon. Clearly you need a job, huh? Well, it so happens that I have a job for you. The man paused at emphasis. A mysterious, mysterious job. A wonderful, wonderful job. Mysterious and wonderful, huh? Sounds interesting. This is how I end up losing my kidney. This is like, this is an, this is something fucked up. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. And then handed me a business card. Both sides of the business card were black, with three letters printed neatly on one side. SCP. What does this mean? He, I look up, he's gone already. It's just a black card that has SCP drawn on in whiteout. What? This is useless. There's no contact information on this. Oh. Click to open envelope. Right for you. Dear Mr. Carl Astana, Congratulations on becoming a member of the SCP Foundation. The Foundation highly values your knowledge and expertise, and we firmly believe that you are the one we've been searching for. You will assume the position of Assistant Archivist in the Archive Department, Group 3. Director Chuck R. will be your supervisor. Please go to the security office on Sector... Uh, on 813 2012 0900 hours to pick up your employee card. We look forward to working with you. I'm not going to say Sigma because then people are going to meme chat. They can't help themselves. They can't help themselves. You say Sigma, then people go... The Ligma! Slugma! Bro! Slug the balls, bro! <laughs> and then it gets it gets bad. Look what you did. 
Personnel Department of Site 105, SCP Foundation Secure, Contain, Protect. Okay. Since the beginning of civilization, the world has been full of unknown things. Due to their existence, the balance of mankind's peaceful life has been upset. However, no matter how advanced our technology, no matter how great our scientific breakthroughs, there will always be anomalies that cannot be explained. We don't know where they come No, it's just a bunch of statues. I got is. there. These questions plague mankind. I could explain that one. Our daily lives. It's because That's of just a that I don't I actually don't know how to explain that one. That one looks like a big teddy bear. An organization dedicated to containing anomalous items, individuals, and phenomena. The SCP Foundation is committed to maintaining the normalcy of the world so that people may live free. I just saw two cell 99s. That's embarrassing. They, they, that's like a big mix-up. Oh, there's huge man. Hi, I don't actually do any of this. I work at Archive. I don't... I really do not care about most of this. I have to organize our fucking uh, books today. I send emails. I send emails and I organize records. I'm the guy who who redacts all the redacted parts. That's me. I redact. I I draw on papers with sharpies and then fax them around. Can love it. You think maybe it re-enabled the motion blur onto? <laughs> you dare? For second of all, third of all. Oh, oh yeah, there it fucking is, dude. You know these devs don't know how to fucking organize their fucking graphical settings right when you go past ultra to cinematic. I want to motion blur so hard, I cease to exist. I want my eyes to just... I don't... that really... There is no visual difference between... I don't even know what changed. Wow. Look at this. This place sure is something. Am I really short? I feel really short. Oh, hang on, I should read this. Archive Center, Safety Management Manual. No flammable toxic or explosion hazards. Follow the confidentiality policy. No confidential file or item out of this unit. Uh, contact immediately with security department and accept quarantine test when suspected of being affected by the containment. What's that sound? What's that? Oh. Oh, these are giant blast doors. That makes sense. Friday at 9 p.m. something's happening. That's fun. Surely you can't just leave access cards on the counter and be like, here, self-check-in. Self-check-in at the fucking SCP Foundation. We have self-check-in. Well, you found the elevator. You must know you're supposed to be here. Self-check-in. I mean, it's not like this is going to stop anyone either. My eyes! Enter room 914. All right, that must be my office. It's gotta be my office. Archives.
Stop crunching. This is what my fucking feet sound like. I don't know whose office that is. It ain't mine. We live in squalor. This place is truly squalor. I don't think this is going to stop any SCPs from, like, destroying the building. I, I don't think anything here is really SCP-proof. Wait, which one of these rooms is mine? Ah, 914. I'm in. There's garbage all over my... This isn't... Is this a pre-decorated office? This is my first day here. Jesus! Well, all it takes is one earthquake. Or jostle and my character will die all it takes is one like <clears throat> like one little jiggle and all these fucking binders fall over and I get crushed all right SCPIA system we're getting on in there let's just log in make sure everyone knows we're here today what the heck Scientists at Site-73 have created super material capable of releasing and absorbing extraordinary amounts of energy. The Anomaly Development Department hopes to construct new container facilities using this super material. That's cool. Site-19 is facing a shortage of D-Class personnel. According to the Foundation's Experiment Research Sharing Protocol, Site-105 will temporarily transfer 40 D-Class personnel to Site-19. Site-105 critically endangered species have been discovered in a Guatemalan sinkhole, one after another. Foundation agents believe it may be related to previous escape of SCP-994. Level D fugitive personnel D-33921 from Site-17 recently found in eastern region of Mexico. The Foundation has dispatched a new MTF to arrest him. It is reported that D-33921 has obtained all special operations knowledge after drinking the clear water in SCP-769, thus allowing him to break through any obstacles and successfully escape. D-boys. Oh, there's a lot of these. We could probably we'll probably have time to go through more of these later. Besides, I have to log in. Uh I can't check my mail. How'd the mission go, Ghent? Did the information gathering on SCP-1299 go smoothly? Oh, they're moving fast. Uh oh, uh, they're talking. Uh, this is a private is this a private conversation? Stuart's here. Good morning. What's up, Stuart? How do I type in here? Oh my god, it's Skyping. They're Skyping fast. Oh, they want me to introduce myself. Says Zoe. Uh, morning everyone, or hiya friends, good morning. I should probably read the rules so I don't, like, type in a bunch of cusses. Verbal abuse of any form is strictly prohibited. Those who do not abide will be injected with am amnestics. Okay. Contact with SCP-999 during working hours is strictly prohibited. Rule number two. Well, that's two rules. <laughs> Wait a minute. Rule number one is two rules. Rule number two. Document sharing server password 3501. That's not a rule. <laughs> Hi. I know I just got here, but I have some ways that we could fix up the, um, the format of this server. I know I'm not part of the server team. I'm in archives, but... Half of these rules aren't rules. SCP-343 visiting hours changed to 1,400 uh, daily. That's also not a rule. That's just information. Okay, well, whatever. I'm going to be formal. Morning, everyone. My name is Carl Estana. You can call me Carl. As opposed to what? I graduated from MIT with a double major in biology and philosophy. Cool. At least one of them is helpful right now. That's good. You went to MIT for fucking philosophy? Also, who asked? <laughs> who asked? Who cares? You're telling me this guy goes to MIT and, ca and goes for biology and philosophy. Zoe asked. Yeah, she asked me to introduce myself, not be like, I am disqualified to be here. Welcome. Stuart smiles. I like Stuart. Dude, I like Stuart. Stuart seems chill. 
He says good morning and then smiles. M I T. Oh, that's pretty awesome. What the fuck's Ghent's problem? It seems MIT is not popular here. No, 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 it's not like that. Not targeting you specifically, pal, it's just all these prestigious graduates. Oh god, Ghent's going off. I can't even keep up. Uh... Stuart, help! Stuart, well, who's Jonathan? What's happening? Apparently, the Foundation likes hiring people, like, with nice qualifications, and then they go to the Archive Department. Have you all conveniently forgotten about Jonathan? Who's Jonathan? Hoping Stuart will like get in here and back me. You guys watch Rick and Morty last night? <laughs> Everyone else is talking about the disappearance of Jonathan and here <laughs> <laughs> Stuart, Stuart Moore, archive department just cuts in. He's like, dude, the newest episode of Rick and Morty. No, let's let's talk about that. You, Pristin, we we're so full of it. Okay, I don't understand, Gent, what the problem is. Uh, you. You think you can just beam through everywhere with your glowing academic qualifications? You got it coming. The tragedy he went through was inevitable. What the fuck is this guy's deal? Bro, get chill out, man. I just got here today. How dangerous could dealing with paperwork possibly be? And Jonathan lost his left hand because he breached protocol. Rick clearly knows too much. I've got reason to suspect he was a former SCP employee, lol. Stuart, <laughs> no one wants to talk about those boring children's cartoons, all right? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> just, they just keep going. Stuart T. Collins in the corner. Maybe he won't talk again. I hope they didn't hurt his feelings. Although it's probably not the place for it. Rick and Morty is not a children's cartoon! Rick and Morty isn't a children's cartoon, bro! Oh, well. Chuck, that's the director. If any of you are planning on getting some serious work done today, then please do me a favor and shut the hell up. So long as you're working here in the archives department, I'm gonna need to focus on your work, unlike those people in logistics spending their time gossiping all day. Zoe, these archives contain missions not completed last time. Some places still need modifications. Ghent. Take some time off after you finish up this project. Don't push yourself too hard. Stuart. Okay, whatever. Yeah, Stuart just cuts in, dude. He And he's still upset that people were talking shit about Rick and Morty. Okay, that's all. The Class A archive must, must be handed in by the end of the day. Did I just not get a job? Boss? <laughs> boss? What? What do I do, boss? Boss? Bro? In the archives department, we need to review, organize, catalog, and modify all existing containment archives, but no need to hurry, young man. You'll need to attend the new employee onboarding training first before you can begin working at the foundation officially. The system will send you a meeting notice. Okay. I have to be trained. I'll keep an eye on that, boss. Hey, director. Am I about to follow up with, like... Okay, what, what, what am I doing? I'm honored to be given the chance to work here at the archives department. And re really, man? Really? We're doing this in the public? We're doing this in the public group chat? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna lick his boots here? <laughs> really? Young man, this place is not what you think. Huh? You must abandon your past self and start again from zero if you hope to survive here. No one will take care of you. You must demonstrate your own ability. What? Understood, sir. Heh. 
That new employee onboarding training will be hosted by Dr. Ham this time. You will suffer, Carl. I suggest you prepare for a paper bag for the vomit to come. Stuart, what the fuck? Guys, you have no idea what you'll be doing, do you? Now move it. Remember, Carl, stay sane and always in awe. Stuart, what the fuck? This place sucks. Notice, the course you signed up for is about to begin. Please join the meeting in the training system. Uh, okay, we got two courses going on right now. Uh, one is First Class by Raymond Ham. Uh, it's an online meeting. Okay. Uh, otherwise, I guess I could go join the application of special containment equipment uh, hosted by Steve. I can't join it. All right, we can't hang out with Steve in his... We'll go, we'll go to Raymond's. I'm not level three. I'm only level one. All right, well, we're logging in. Multiplayer connection. This is it. We're entering a, a live game. Jason Carter is a death row inmate. In exchange for clemency, he has agreed to work with the SCP Foundation for 30 days. Upon completion of his work, he will be a free man. Yeah, he's definitely going to survive 30 Jason days. Carter is now D503. D-503 is definitely going to be fine after 30 days of working at the Foundation. Day one, chat. Don't worry. He's got 30 days. What? Another day, another dollar. Trucks. I like trucks. Huh? Well, I got my radar scanner. I got my suit on. Let's get on out there. Day one of 30. Not a problem. I play GTFO. I can handle pretty much anything. I can literally handle anything. Three was given no clear instruction of the task to be completed. He must find them out for himself. Well, oh. well, oh, I've got radar. Collect the waste. Well, <laughs> I guess we're playing a trucking game. Eh, eh, would I get fired if I flipped the truck? Here we are, found some waste right here. Yeah, found some waste right here. Now that there, what we're looking at right now is a, is an ancient relic of a bygone era. That's a jerry can. Or sorry, I meant to say a damaged petrol tank. Classic petrol tank, hard to decompose even after a hundred years. One of the more stubborn pieces of waste. Uh, well, you know, it's a, it's a real shitty fucking job, but I'll tell you one thing. From, from Mort and Ricky, Chat, you guys are fucking frothing at the mouth after what Stewart did, huh? You let Stewart taint you. I can't believe you let that guy get in your head. This isn't that bad. Maybe SCPs are okay. Yep. Right here we have what some may call waste. 
I call it a tire to a pickup truck by the looks of things. A discarded tire filled with sand after vehicles became the main form of transportation discarded tires began to grow in numbers. I can carry 30 more kilograms of waste. I reckon we'll just head on over to this one. Here we have one of my favorite kinds of waste. This here is a big tank full of, looks like mustard. It's a damaged tin drum with a danger sign on it. Having once protected hazardous liquid from leaking, it was discarded upon the completion of its mission. Well, let's take this on over to the incinerator. Gotta get it all destroyed. Gotta make sure this desert is clean. Was that tower always there? Nah, that's the, of course it was. That's the incinerator. The marker! I'm going to summon necromorphs, I think, is what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like that's all we're gonna incinerate today. Let's get this. I took a lot of effort. Any second now, fucking die hard man's gonna crawl out from like a fucking vent somewhere and like. Fucking hand me a monster energy, this I can tell. D503's first day of work. It's gonna hand me a monster energy, we're gonna crack it open and take a big swig. Mandates that D503 now undergo a psychological evaluation. Huh? What? Yeah, I can do that. Please take the level 2 mental test to assess your current mental state. Yeah, sure. Please drag the left graphic fragment into the back square area to fill the whole square area. Okay. None of these go together. Wait, hang on. Hold up. Whoa, 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 look at that. It's fucking wild. What the heck? How the heck does that even, how do you even make stuff like this? This is crazy. Damn, dude, shapes are wild. Shapes are wild. What? I mean, I, yeah, I can do it again. Yeah, man. Sure, man. Yeah, dude. I can... I can do it again. D257, that piece of shit. What the fuck? How'd he do it in 27 seconds? Fuck that guy. If I ever see him, I'm gonna clock him on the back of the head with a tire and throw him in the incinerator. None of this stuff in this room is recorded. I assume. Whatever. We're all do we're all fucking death row inmates. Nothing wrong with a little bit of murderous intent. Tenth isn't so bad. You think I'm tenth? Oh, de oh, ten oh yeah, tenth is pretty bad, dude. D three three one, dude. Actually cringing. Twenty nine more days until I'm out of this place. I really wish I had a bed. Oh, <gasps> yo, what the fuck? Oh. That was really exciting for a second.
It still tastes good, dude. <laughs> It's got some sand on it, but that's pretty much the only kind of filter we have out here. Let's go to sleep. Oh, we do have a bed. All right. This was the first day D-503 psychological data was collected. Okay. Hey, what does this have to do with onboarding? Probably wondering, how can this job earn freedom for a death row inmate. I'm just wondering what this has to do with archiving is actually what's what's really about Mr. Ham. Good afternoon everyone. I'm Dr. Raymond Ham from Site 83. Hi. Welcome to today's training conference. Wait, should we wait for Ryan Hall? Today, I'm going to share with Dr. Ham, should we wait for Ryan Hall? Called SCP-7457. The desert you saw just now? Is SCP God damn it, Dr. Ham's hot. D503 <laughs> is a volunteer Fuck. who we invited to help us learn more about this desert. Prior to the Foundation's involvement with SCP-7457, 329 people went missing in this area. Mm -hmm. As a precaution, we have introduced lockdown measures as we attempt to find the cause of these disappearances. As everyone here Dude looks like a fucking like if you just take the glasses off he's a final fantasy SCP character. 7457. Let me explain how it works. Before we get started, are there any questions? Dr. Ham, I'm Will Barton, 3rd Special Squad, Site 86. I don't like Will as Hello, much. Will. Before I came here, I thought I had a basic understanding of the foundation. I've heard of Will looks like a anomalies. Fortnite character. <laughs> So we have a Final Fantasy character, we have a Fortnite character. was a desert. How do we begin to make sense of this? That's a good question, Will. All the unexplained phenomena we are monitoring are being labeled anomalies. Human anomalies, regional anomalies, artifact anomalies, and various other phenomena beyond uh -huh. our control. Actually, actually. The work of the Foundation is to isolate these anomalies and prevent the public from, shall we say, experiencing them? Okay, next question. Hello, Dr. Ham. I'm Mark Harris, a the research up, intern from Site 27. In a video, we saw D-503 picking up garbage in the desert. Why did it do that? And what does this have to do with anomalies? Okay, Mark. What is, everyone, is everyone, is everyone like shockingly hot but me? SCP They're not gonna, is, 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 is this gonna be all be day? It's difficult to understand at first. Just know that it or they Is everyone extremely picturesque? Perhaps you'll understand what I mean once we finish watching the Maybe video. that's why Ryan Hall left. Okay, let's move on. He got embarrassed. The first week was fairly normal. However, there was an interesting occurrence on the eighth day. <laughs> trucking time, trucking time, trucking time. 23 more days until I'm free to kill again. Because I'm a killer. I'm a killer. I'm a psycho murderer. That's why I was on death row. And the second I'm out on the 20, on the, after 23 more days, I'm gonna kill again. And it won't be in Minecraft, it'll be in real life because I'm a psychopathic killer. So I was on death row. It wasn't for no killing in Minecraft, it was for a real life killing. Yes sir. Well, let's get trucking. Now, if I had to reckon, we should have some garbage on the top of this here hill. This here sand dune. It's blue. Have you ever heard of nighttime? <laughs> have you have you ever heard of nighttime, where the sun sets and things get darker? Yes. Yeah, we got here a pile of barrel. What do we got here? A kind of barrel? One singular corroded iron bucket. Surface of the barrel is corroded. 
And the blue liquid inside is highly corrosive. Yeah, I'll pick that up with my hands. Let's just get to the next pickup spot. What do we got here? What do we got here? Let's take a look. I'm scared of what? Sand? Of what? Sand? Yeah, right here we have what looks to be... Oh, I know this anywhere. That there's a broken AC unit. A rusty air conditioner. Modern human beings cannot live without air conditioners due to global warming. True. Yet the use of Freon and air conditioners also indirectly caused global warming. True. Anyways. True. <laughs> We got one last pickup for the night, and then we'll be all set. What? 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 The heck is that? What is that? Hey, what the fuck is that thing? I should have hit it. I should have hit it with my car. It's always a second chance. There it is. All right, what do we got here? Black spindle. A spindle of thick black cable that is wound too tightly to see what's inside. Much heavier than it looks and nobody knows why. It takes a lot of effort to carry. All right, let's burn it all in the incinerator then. Go ahead and get all this into the incinerator. Burn it all, destroy it. Toss it all in there. I gotta, yeah, don't complain about all this lifting because I gotta, you're right, chat. I gotta be strong because I, because I do quite enjoy being able to murder and having powerful muscles makes my incredible, horrible atrocities that I commit on daily once I'm out of this place in another 23 days that much easier. I love... However, he did not realize that he had already encountered his first anomaly. What? Huh? Well, I killed it. It's dead. I killed it. Cracks open monster energy, drinks it all. Oh, I gotta do my I gotta do my my mental test. All right, we want to make sure that we are in the top three. Picture of the triangle. 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 We're done. Calculations at equal five. 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 <laughs> three pictures, but I only said two out of two. Oh, I got confused. Five plus five plus five is 15. Divide by three is five. Five plus zero is five. One plus one. Divide by three is five. PEMDAS. Dude, fuck you. I'm not doing math on stream. Oh. I fucking hate PEMDAS, dude. No! Oh yeah, speaking of math, that Voices of the Void game, uh, had an update. Might check it out again soon. 
Dude. Honestly, you want to know the fastest way to send me into a Joker moment is sit me down and make me do math. All right, basic math. If I ever have a kid and they ask me at any point to help them with their math, I will hand them a calculator and just be like, it's time you learn how things work. It's time you learn. It's time you understand. Okay? Because if you think for a fucking second I'm doing this, you're out of your mind. No one helped me. No one helped me. God knows no one helped me. I'll slap the math homework out of their hand and hand them a fucking, like, gamepad. A goddamn PlayStation controller. I'll say, what are you doing? You're supposed to be training to become an esports master. These years while your brain is still forming are the only years where you can be the best. You want to you wanna disappoint your dad? And then I'll, I'll push them back into Fortnite. All right. 22 more days, and then I'm free to kill again. Time to go to sleep. All right. That night, D-503's psychological data showed abnormal fluctuations. But that's just physiological data. Those are two different things. Analysis tells us that D-503 is What? Unfortunately, though, we have no way of knowing what he dreamed of. The eighth that day night. marked a significant turning point. Huh? They talked at the same time. SCP 7457's impact on D 503. Oh. Are there any questions before we go on? Hello, Dr. Ham. I'm Spencer. Oh, God. Jones Everyone's hot but me. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hello, Spencer. I really hope they don't, like, switch to my webcam and ask me to talk or anything. If you wanted to monitor his psychological response to SCP-7457, why not just leave him out in the desert? Why assign him these true. tasks when there are already psychological evaluations taking place? True, true, true. Okay, our analysis has indicated that SCP-7457 produces a new cluster of trash every eight minutes and 37 seconds. If waste collection is not done regularly, all that trash may soon flow into our world. It is worth noting, though. That's dumb. That's a stupid what idea. What do you mean? Here pales in comparison to the amount produced by humans. However, it still has the potential. We need that trash. A problem in the future. By assigning these tasks to D-503, we can monitor his reactions while also containing the trash. There is another reason, but we will get to that one later. Is it not the case that the Spencer, shut the fuck the up! Of a minor issue like, the you're getting, like, aggressive at this point. Like, can someone else, like, yeah, also everyone. say something? I must emphasize that behind... I don't know, that, 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 that was a lot of... Public. Like, she was well, agitated that time. Any of this. Being meticulous and maintaining a serious attitude is essential at the SCP Foundation. Yeah. Any oversight yeah, Spencer. or underestimation of yeah. the enemy may result in disaster. Yeah, maybe you got ch Thank you, Dr. Ham. I understand. Good. Let's move on. The effects of SCP-7457 on D-503 became... I can't believe important. Ryan's missing on this whole fucking orientation meeting. Due to the conditions that day, we were only able to track his movements after recovering data from his radar. It was definitely a bad day. Perhaps the worst. Dude, every day of my life, that's relatable Even as shit. A death row inmate. Hell yeah. It was definitely a bad day. Perhaps the worst day ever. Truly awful. Well... The hell we got here? Where's all this? Is that one of them their scanners? D-503 found a radar that perfectly resembled his own. The hell I didn't even know they made this model. World War II type. There's a lot of abrasion on the display as well as the handle. D-503 didn't seem to think much of it. Yep. I don't think anything of that. That means nothing to me. Anyways, moving on. 
Yep, that means nothing. I do not know why I would be concerned about something like that. Mm-mm-mm. All I think about is killing and murder because I'm a death row and hold up. Yep. Just gonna go hang. Yep. yep. Maybe one more just for good measure on the two wheels in the back. There it is, there it is. Got another one of those strange black spindles. A spindle of thick black cable wound too tightly. It's very heavy. Well, time to burn it. <laughs> Anyways, I choose to not think anything of anything I do. I'm just counting away the days till I can murder again. Till I can do all my horrible crimes again. I'm just gonna go ahead and toss all this in the fire. Yep. Good to me. Burn it. Persistent adverse physiological reactions proved to be a challenge for D503. He still managed to complete his work on day 15. But then he encountered an incident. What? A sandstorm. Well, ain't this something? Where the hell? What the heck? D-503 walked in the sandstorm for a long time, but he couldn't seem to find his way back. This is such an unfortunate incident to happen to me. Hello? I don't know who would, res who would respond, considering my cables. Everyone knows that electrical cables lead to civilization. Oh my god. That's it! That's my home! Yes. We just have to get to that and we're home! We can... We can get back to base and we can say hey to our best friend, Die Hard Man. And he'll hand us another, another, another BB and, and we can use it to detect if there's spooky ghosts floating around in the desert. Because I lost my old scanner. Thought I heard something else taking steps around me. <laughs> Cracks open monster energy, chugs it. <laughs> Start tipping to the left and the right. Tipping left and right, he's got too much on his back. He'll never make it, but he does. Trips on ramp spills all packages on ground. Half of them break. Picks them up. Goes inside. Loses half of his score. Managed to find a site just as he was beginning to grow weak with exhaustion. A site he was not familiar with. What's happening? <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Now, this ain't my base, is it? Oh? Now, most of the time you think that you're spooking me and you have me right where you want me, strange man in the light. But I'll have you know, I'm a death row inmate, and when I reach you, I'm gonna kill you, motherfucker! What's happening? Oh, I'm playing. I thought this was a cutscene. Ah, 
lie. Trapped in the cable zone. Trapped in the wire realm. Hey, Professor, what does this have to do with anything? Explain. Who edited this? Doctor? Sir? Have you ever experienced a call from an unknown voice? <gasps> well, that was a really shitty day. Approximately 13 hours later. A visibly trembling D-503 returned to Site-8. We immediately performed a psychological evaluation. Yeah, I can handle this. Check, because it's still me. And you see, while he may be spooked, I am in full control of my brain. I'm ready to start the test. Please connect all the... Uh, Major fluctuations uh, can now be observed in D-503. No, it's just a pipe puzzle, man! Pull it together! The results oh, no, he's in less! ...were so troubling, we had to abort the mission. <laughs> I'm breaking it out. D-503. Well, that's not a very good fucking si You're telling me that it, this you had a foot-thick goddamn containment wall and if the and uh, but a part in the middle which held what I can only assume was an Asus monitor with nothing behind it. Budget cuts. Let's get the fuck out of this place. All I wanted to do was get back to society so I could violently kill more people indiscriminately in the wild. Why is that so bad? Why am I being punished for that? Why, God, have you betrayed me? All I want to do is kill again. This planet is real. This planet is real. Dude, how do you crash in a fucking desert? There's nothing in it. Oh. oh God. What? what the hell? How the hell do we? What's that? What? No, 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 no. If this is, if this is the world and everyone is really dead, then I can't kill anyone anymore. What point is there going on? Three heard the call. If everyone's dead, I can't kill them! No! No! Humans often believe that their fate is in their own hands. There's gotta be someone I can still All kill. Voices come from their own free will. They don't realize that we humans form only a small part of this world. <laughs> Out there, in the unknown world, we are as insignificant as a grain of sand what is in that this thing? vast desert. What is that thing? Now, the doctor's including all this philosophy for me, the philosophy major. 
They're doing that for a reason, chat. Stop being disrespectful. <laughs> All we gotta do is answer that goddamn phone and we're out of this place. All we gotta do is run across this giant crater and answer that phone. Oh wow, I really closed the gap. Oh wow, I'm already be I'm being killed. I don't think I'm gonna get to answer the phone. This is where D503's instincts led him. Looks like Twitch streamer internet setup. It kind of does look like my wire management. It's a, li it's a little bit like my. Oh my god. You tell me all those were bodies? Oh, it's people. Oh, it's people! All I wanted to do was violently kill again and again without consequence. radar was 31 miles away from the waste treatment facility. All right, all right. All the data we have came from this radar. Makes sense. People entering SCP-7457 will suffer varying degrees of psychological stress within an acute period. It manifests as a range of neurological and mental disorders, as well as severe and unexplained hallucinations. So far, not one participant has left the desert unscathed. The Foundation has tested 31 Level D personnel in an area spanning 2,260... Let me tell you all exactly how many people we've killed Our testing continues. by sending them into the desert for the to die. You will face hey, did you ever think... Dr. Ham. Some can kill you. Dr. Ham, I have a question. Do you ever think that perhaps part of the reason they suffer from psychological trauma is because you keep them in what is literally a 10x10 10 10 box? SCP-7457... Is just and whenever you feed them, you throw a burger onto the ground after perfectly constructing it, splattering it all over the ground and making them eat off the floor. And there's also no toilet. Do you think perhaps that might contribute to their psychological trauma? National security experts. Well, SCP does not care how smart you are, how accomplished you are. Oh. It doesn't matter to them how many doctorates and titles you have. Oh. You are no different from helpless ants. When confronted with these anomalies. Oh. Remember this. It is the most important advice you will receive. Do not take risks. You will die. You are not as special as you think you are. Oh. If you encounter an anomaly. No wonder Ryan left, dude. Aside, run. Because that's the only thing you can do. God won't protect you here. <laughs> what? What did you just say? Rookies. I'm Dr. Raymond Ham, and this ends the first class of our employee induction program. What did you just fucking say to me? Oh, he closed the call. <clears throat> well, uh, time for me to put out my rating. This course was arranged appropriately. I... I'm going to be honest, again, I work in archiving. Nothing here mattered to me. <laughs> Not one thing here felt relevant to my job. So I'm going to say no. This wasn't arranged appropriately. I think I was in the wrong job. I think, I think I'm in the wrong section. The lecturer is qualified. He had a doctorate in neurobiology. I would say he was very qualified. The connection was smooth. 
I could count the pores on that fucking doctor's face on that webcam. All right, but he was glitching a little bit. Quality was okay, but the connection was a bit smooth, but not totally smooth, only a bit smooth. Notice of the meeting was punctual. What does that fucking mean? What, what does that mean? Like when we got there on time, we were, we got, it, I mean, I, I got the information. Other supplements. I don't really feel anything. Good. It helped me realize that if I don't strictly abide by the rules, I could be injected with anesthetics and be sent home like John. I only saw a Boy Scout instructor scaring a rookie. Yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of what it was. That's kind of, that's kind of what it, it kind of drew. <laughs> it really just felt like, uh, just felt like someone tried to scare me, but it wasn't really helpful to my job. It wasn't like very good training. All right. Hiya, Carl. Okay, Zoe's messaging me. How did it feel? To be honest, I feel a little uncomfortable. I, I, yeah, I kind of feel uncomfortable. It just felt like a waste of my time. Hey, buddy. Don't throw up on the floor. Stop messing with him, Stuart. Shut the fuck up, Stuart. Carl, that was only the beginning. You gotta learn to get used to it. Live with it. I got it. I mean, when do I start my job? And. And? Everyone here wants to teach you something, Carl. Live with it. Come on, Stuart. Thank you. I feel much better. In any case, when do I start my job? You're welcome to join us, Carl. D, this guy just did the, what he colon, capital D'd me. The past hour has been torture. I don't know how the others managed to hold on. I messed up during the training session. I jumped off a cliff, fell into the icy water, and choked hard. I don't know how I even recall any of this because I have no memory of ever visiting any cliffs or waterfall, but it was all so real. I can even taste it in my mouth now foul taste of the river water but in any case this is my first day at the foundation i gotta go to the cafeteria and get something to eat all right let's swing on over to the cafeteria let's go grab a snack oh we're going to the cafeteria digitally sorry chat we're gonna have to go digitally Chuck, sending stuff to all them. Everyone's getting, do I get a file today? Do I actually get work today? Come on. Hey, Chuck, why am I being assigned to field work again? Something went wrong at Site 74. Personnel from the other departments went to provide support. So we need you to take on more field work. Like I just said, our department should be renamed Relief Station. Stop complaining, Kent. Carl, how do you feel now? I'm ready to, I'm ready for a new job. Oh, does that mean I want to fight? Oh, oh, okay, no, I was like, I, does that mean I want to quit? Good, this is your first mission, Carl. Review the archives and organize them according to the requirements. Do not underestimate the task at hand. Go and finish it. I'll do my best, boss. I'm ready to quit. This is my two-week notice. Goodbye. Just one more thing, MIT boy. Strictly follow the regulations. Do not act on your own without authorization. Thanks, Gentu. <laughs> this reminds me of my first mission. Wubba lubba dub dub. This fucking guy, I hate Steward. I don't like Steward anymore. <laughs> Steward! Your personality is nothing. You are nothing. He's awful. True Zoomer energy. This guy. I can't handle it. Ah! Ah! What do I do now? Oh, files. Enter data regarding the investigation reports into the archive system on the right. Method of operation. Click red. Click text with red underline. After clicking the data, dragging the effect will be activated. Uh, dragging the archive system on the right. Left click to release data. Data will be uploaded automatically. After entering all the data in the archive system, click submit. So this is my job. <clears throat> I'm Agent Q from the Accident Investigation Department. How's it going? 
containment breach occurred at Pony Station and contact with the Foundation has been lost. Agent Bella Lawrence was given orders to enter Pony Station and retrieve the black box. Following is a transcript of the interview with Bella Lawrence. All right. Hey. It's a black box. <laughs> as is, as was stated, that is a black box. Blood pressure 175 over 110. Experiencing mild convulsions. Administer five milligrams of medical to help control blood pressure. Bella? 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 The drugs seem to be taking effect. Go ahead and ask questions. I can't be certain how long she'll stay away from. Bella? Where's the black box, Sparrow? Uh, Is that Wesker? I can see the glasses. Three days ago, you were tasked with investigating the situation at Site 74. Only Agent X? That's you Wesker. You were assigned to retrieve the black box. Now, out with it. Where is the black box? How do you lose that? I'd be upset too. How do you lose that? I brought it back. I brought the black box back. You don't lose a box Why like that. You never brought it back. No, that that's impossible. It's a big box. I remember. I completed my assigned task. I I swear. I shit my head. Ugh. All right, here now. This isn't an interrogation. We are not here to lay blame or point any fingers. Albert Wesker? Oh no, that guy's got a beard. He's got like a goatee. Bella, I'm terribly sorry to have to bother you in such a Gordon state, Freeman! It is critical that we find that black box. We need to know what happened at Pony Station. My my memory's a mess at the moment. That's fine. We'll take it slowly. Step by step. Why don't we start from the moment you received your mission? Tell us what you remember. Hey, I'll try. That night. Currently heading to mission site Site 74 Pony Station. We'll arrive in about three minutes. Very good, Sparrow. It's been 48 hours since the Foundation lost contact with Pony Station. SCP-701 experiments there have been ongoing. SCP-701. Containment breach. Containment what breach. Is mission? According to Foundation security regulation 709S. Huh? He's got bald in his name. Why is his bald eagle, but she gets like the code name Just Sparrow? Why does he have to be bald? Your task is to investigate the situation and retrieve the black box. Black box? Got it. See, if someone's like, okay. retrieve the black box, I'd be like, I gotta know what a black box looks like from like a plane. I would not expect it to just be a big black box. I don't think that's how it works in real life. I don't think so, at least. Well. Yeah, I'll just park my car. In the middle of the road? Lights on? On the goddamn freeway? Yeah, we're getting close to- I'm able to observe the mission site from here. But it doesn't seem like one of the Foundation's secure facilities. Pony Station, officially known as Site 74, was originally a hydroelectric power station. After it was abandoned, the Foundation repurposed it as one of their sites. Initially, it was used only to contain a few safe level anomalies. But recently, it's also. Sorry, taken I'm not feeling too good about Site 74. I don't know all the details. We won't know the truth until you retrieve the black box. Got it. 
I'll complete the task as instructed and retrieve the black box. This is the spooky path. You always take the spooky path. You never know when you might find an SCP. Hey! Hey! Oh, it's a deer. I really thought an SCP was going to get me. I thought there was a, an SCP on me for a second there. Oh, what was that? Sorry, I felt something on my shoulder. It was just a bug, but I thought for a moment it could be an SCP. You truly never know, now that there's been a containment breach, how far out the SCPs could have leaked. We are officially in a realm beyond which any human could possibly understand. I'll be taking this. <laughs> I really was hoping there'd be a gun in here. A device capable of measuring the humes of an area and calculate reality bending rate in real time. Yeah. Take that too. Reality anchor, a device capable of stabilizing the humes of surrounding areas. One of the best weapons for combating against reality bending and reducing the psychological damage in an area. And Y block. 60 milliliters per injection. Inject this blocker to stop neurotransmitters from behaving erratically as a result of unavoidable reality bending. Huh, what do you know? It is a box. <laughs> huh, what do you know? All this and no gun. Huh, that is really a box. Well, let's get on in there. I don't know how I feel about going into this place, Jay. What with all those SCP in there? I've just entered Pony Station. Retrieve the black box from the lab. Room 705. The elevator. Seventh floor. Sparrow. Must. What's that? Bald Eagle. You're cutting out. Damn. This is out of the safe range. I'll place a reality anchor. How? 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 She never said how! She just said I'll place the reality anchor! She never said- Oh. There we go. Much better. I'm feeling good now. Now let's find Whoa! Out. Chat, when I first saw those pipes, I wasn't thinking like, wow, that's pipes. I was thinking like indoor slide at like a McDonald's. And I was like, that looks fucking fun. Like I'd, I'd slide down that. But then I realized it's actually pipes containing deadly like items, deadly fluids. We should be careful. We should keep our wits about us. We have no idea where the SCPs could be or what the nature of these SCPs even is. Marianne Flores, a Maple Valley environment ambassador or an SCP after your bones? Hmm. I don't want to lose my bones. I'll tell you that much. This plant, a normal house plant, or perhaps an SCP after your bones. Or perhaps simply something hiding a 25 cent coin. Oh, that's Ohio. It's a quality one. You're gonna want that. Today I read Dr. George Thompson's research log for SCP-701. Could it be true? Has he really been performing comparison experiments on chimpanzees this whole time? What could he have planned? Does he not realize what he's up against? The whole thing is turning out to be an ungodly mess. It's now abundantly clear why the Foundation transferred him out of Pony Station, leaving me to take over his post. He was performing the experiment all wrong. The whole direction of the project was all wrong. SCP-701 holds great potential. I still believe that. I will have to adopt a new method of study. Efficient, fast, direct. It all begins tomorrow. Dr. Tyler Cooper. I've heard of this guy. A bit of an eccentric and a thrill seeker. All personnel on duty shall not leave early. Absence from work is strictly prohibited. You're not allowed to have sick days. Personnel who cannot be on duty due to special circumstances shall promptly coordinate with the relevant site director. All personnel shall strictly comply with the prescribed regulations and rules pertaining to the access of classified files. 
All personnel on duty shall fill in the inspection form truthfully, blah, 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 blah. Spare key to room 101 placed under flower pot in visitor's lobby. Everything's under flower. <laughs> You see, what we have here is, in fact, an SCP. A locker SCP, one attached to a rope. This place sucks. I have to go get the fucking flower pot. Mmm, Marianne Floors, Maple Valley Environment Ambassador, an SCP of incredible power. Looks like a storm's coming in. You ought to be careful. All the plans, including the project schedule that follows, have been disrupted. The actors of the whole site is theirs. They managed to procure a goddamn script from God knows where. They've taken over my lab to record it. And Dr. Cooper, or whatever his name is, in particular, he puts on airs every time the operation starts as if What's everyone should listen to him. Who does he think he is? I have to let him know who's the boss around here. We should get a move on. Things are starting to fall. Reality's bending. Let's just, let's just go get on out of here. Hello? Hello? Marianne? Are you in here, Marianne? Marianne? Oh, fuck. There's big black boxes floating around in the air. It must be the SCP trying to confuse me, but I saw the picture. I know that none of you are the one I'm supposed to bring out of here. Not a fool. It'd take more than that. Whoa. Oh, hang on. None of those are black. What? Oh. Weird. You all alone in there, little guy? Safety documents. This is not an exit. This is a safety hazard. OSHA would tear this place to shreds. There's no exit. That's a... Rats. We must be getting close to the anomaly. We must be- we must be getting close. What? What? Huh? What? Hey, hey, what happened? You guys don't think all the employees here got turned into fucking weird wooden mannequins, do you? No, no, no. Must be in my head. Must be dealing with some kind of psychological trauma. This must be the elevator. To the seventh floor, then. Yeah, I bet it's that easy. Oh, don't have the entrance card. What we offered. The hanged king we served. I serve my king with my blood. Blissful suffocation. Sacrifice of sin. What's this? Some kind of poem? Ah, I've been slimed! Uh, 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 oh! Oh! hazard! That's gonna be the last thing I ever say before I die. Ah! Psycho Mantis.
I'm very familiar with cognito acids. I've been trained to deal with them. But this wasn't anything like that. I couldn't breathe. It was like there was a knot tied around my throat. But it was literally was a cognito a hazard. Tiny, gasping. No matter how much I struggled, nothing helped. You even said it. That does sound terrifying. But perhaps it was just a nightmare, though. No. We wake up from nightmares. Not from this. Hey, why is the lamp on? Yeah, I'm getting confused. Oh. Well, floor seven, and then we get the hell out of here. One cognito hazard isn't gonna. Oh my god. Stability falling! I've been anchored back to reality. Chad, I'm starting to think these mannequins are here for a reason. Things. I'm taking the stairs. Yeah, I guess you will once I check out this direction. Now I'm now noticing from all the path over there that I'm guessing we don't end up. It's locked. Why did I even check? Hello? Chat, I would dare describe you as a cognito hazard. You know what I mean? Not at that level. That's a real cognito hazard. What the? Okay, the effect would have been more impressive if the uh, jump scare didn't disappear when I turned around, but continue to make a sound. I think this guy was peeing when he got turned into a mannequin. Duke Sortino, the chains of fate coil like a poisonous snake. It is not only me they seek to entangle, but also you, Gonzalo. The curse before death is frightening indeed. Petruchio, get this meddler out of my sight. Let dead men remain speechless. Petruchio extends the noose and strangles Sortino's neck. Sortino, traitor, usurper, arg. About this place. Literally the worst handwriting I've ever seen. I don't know what that says. I don't think anyone could possibly decipher what that says. I see Lord. I think. My King. Worst M I've ever seen. Worst M I've ever seen in my entire goddamn life. If the lies of the monarchy were to be recorded in a book, the archivist would never know a moment's rest and would evidently become overburdened with fatigue. Maid Beatrice, Empress, Lord Antonio is here. Isabella, what is that you say? My strange son, why would he come to see me in the convent? Go get me my best, my very best dress at once and prepare a glass of poisoned wine. As you say, Maid Beatrice leaves. What sad truth the dice rolls with lies and bears my name and the martyr understood. What are these fucking weirdos reading? Something weird's going on in this place. Guys, I think an SCP may be loose in this facility. I don't want to alarm anyone, but I'm going to say something very, very alarming. I believe there may be an SCP loose in this facility. I think this place may be compromised. I believe there may have been a containment breach. But I don't want anyone to be alarmed, so please don't be alarmed. What I'm telling you right now is that there may be a horrible cognito hazard wandering around the facility. Hazard. Could it have something to do with SCP-701? We may all likely already be dead. Than I expected. We could already be dead. But don't panic. Panic is what's really going to get you if you're not already dead. 
If you are already dead, then panic means nothing because you're already dead. <sighs> Miss Irene Mabel, recently a former assistant of, of Dr. Tyler Cooper, Miss Lisa Amanda, was demoted because of her refusal to carry out the experiment orders given by Dr. Cooper. On the 16th, she was injected with Class A amnestics and sent away from the site. To fill this role, and at the behest of Dr. Cooper himself, site management has decided to promote you to the role of senior experimental assistant. Your interview and authorization session will be held today at 1330 hours. Room 711. Please come prepared. Senior assistant? Wow. I'm not reading anything more about Gonzalo and Algada. Sorry, dude, it's just not a very compelling script. Oh. On December 19th, local time, a mass blank accident involving several students in the auditorium of Princester High School took place. The incident escalated into a violent riot with fighting on a mass scale. The incident reportedly took place in the auditorium wall blank as all participants were in the process of blank. This triggered the audience to attack each other, resulting in 13 deaths and 27 injuries. The cause of the incident is unknown at this time. So many files. This must be the archive room. Just don't care about Gorgonzola. I don't like this pose. I don't like this pose at all. What are you, shy? Can I please spook you, sir? Please? Mr. Streamer? Don't follow me. It's all very unusual these days. Many people have come to the site, but they haven't registered with the authorities. I've heard that Cooper and his team are rehearsing a script into a play and that all participants are required to record their daily status. My experiment has to be put on hold because there's no one left to work on it. It's not right. I'll write an email to the minister and inform him of the malpractice going on here. Who's that? Wait, so you told me the whole script is an SCP, but I've been reading it. That's not good. But I've been physically reading it. Am I turning into a, some kind of mannequin? Am I going to turn into some kind of freaking robot? Oh, hang on. Not yet. Oh, I see. Solved it. I solved your puzzle game. Don't you look foolish now. I've solved your puzzle. <laughs> you can't contain me. It's gonna be someone in the vent, huh? <laughs> At first, most of the on-site personnel were apprehensive about participating in this project, but after just distributing some of SCP-701's documents to a few volunteers, they became widely circulated, and the number of people coming to sign up suddenly increased. It's rather curious how it happened, and I haven't quite figured out the reason behind it yet, but it's welcome news. I'll take it as a good omen. Now I've managed to mobilize the entire station to participate, every single person. It's my chance to prove myself. An opportunity like this doesn't come every day. Uh, lady, it's turning everyone into wood. It's very obvious that this SCP-701 is some kind of, oh, uh, I would dare describe it as a Euclid tier hazard. Perhaps even Keter itself, one of the most dangerous types of cognito hazard you can possibly experience. Oh! Oh my god! It seems this may be the end. on my side. This 
saw to get me to the seventh floor. Um, actually, streamer, Euclid and Keto does not determine danger. Shut the fuck up, you dork. Well, let's head down to level seven. Shut up, nerd. Atomic wedgies you. In Minecraft. What? No, no. What the hell is going on here? Fourth floor again? No, what? What? Group rehearsal. Rehearsal notice? How is this? Oh, sixth floor. Okay, one more over there. We're gonna get out of here, check, because this is the. Is there a creature coming for me? <laughs> so whatever it was, it's gone now. Where's that rehearsal notice? I very I know what I have to do. I know what I have to do. Did I pick it up? It's in my inventory, isn't it? May 23rd, 7.46 a.m. Fifth floor. Okay, so we're on this. Well, which floor is this technically? Because it's between sixth and fifth. Which, which floors are these legally? I can't even reach seventh. I guess there's only a couple options anyways. But considering this is sixth and there is nothing to put on fourth, I'm going to assume that this is going to be fine on this one. So 11, 11 a.m. Yeah, that, this isn't going to take a thousand years. Getting there. We're getting there. Let's go switch to ten any second now. <sighs> okay, well, this one's at nine. And since the hour is at nine, there's nothing else I can do. We'll just leave it at nine sharp. said nine sharp there we'll just set it based off the hour that's available because it's not going to move otherwise this one's at eight. Oh nope this one should work 746 Dinged before I got to what I should have been getting to. But I guess it works. And the last one. 11 11. Huh? What? Well, how did we. How did I manage to. Seventh floor. Well, here we are. Ah! Cognito hazard! Oh! Ah! Ah! Ah!
I don't know where the hell we are. We better get to move on. What just? Something's wrong. Something's not going right. What? What? Huh? That's a mannequin. That's not a person. I'm gonna need these. Those are mannequins. That voice. It's that voice again. Ow! Voice. voice. What voice? What voice? I serve my king with my blood. Blissful suffocation. Tell us what it is. Sacrifice of sin. No, 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 no! No! Like a rope looped around my neck, pulling tight, weightless, hanging, nothing around me, just my feet dangling, struggling, fighting. It will swallow me and make me its slave. Chat, have some goddamn respect in the chat, all right? This is. She's suffering from a massive in influx of cognito hazards directly to her her, her fucking brainstem. The situation there was much worse than expected. And you're laughing. Much worse. I knew I had to get in touch with the foundation. Uh, I managed to find a phone, and I called her back up. IBS of the brain, irritable brain syndrome. This is Sparrow. Yeah. 09868 for Bald Eagle. I'm at Pony Station on the seventh floor. The situation here is much worse than expected. I need backup. Bella, are you sure this is actually what happened? What do you mean? Yes, of course I'm sure. Come on, Bella. Try and focus. I love that we have pay phones at the SCP about? Foundation. Bella, you never made that phone call. What? Of course I... What? I... The pony station was completely cut off. There was no contact. You're telling me there wasn't an old-timey payphone at the bottom of Pony Station? That would have been impossible. No. You're, you're telling me there wasn't a, a... A payphone I had to use a quarter to use? What you I could have kept that quarter? Ah! No, my, my thing. I gotta go. Yeah! How fast is he? Fast! Ah! Ah! Thank God the door's open this time. Is that a click? <laughs> yeah, I'm getting out of here. QTEs, QTEing, sidling along a wall. If I miss this, I'm dead. Whoa. As someone just belches in my ear. Fuck. Well, even I never said anything about that. Bastard. Yeah, we made it out of there. And Chad, I got a good feeling stuff's gonna start looking up for us now that we've gotten away from that guy. Yeah, I got a good feeling we're in uh we're in we're in good hands now. 
looks like uh looks like the containment has been breached here yep found a breach that right there's a breach is what i would call this see in the scp foundation we call these breaches you can tell because there's a big fucking hole where there used to be glass Oh, let's see here. Site 105060032, unclassified. This experiment was a multi object project, including SCP, uh, SCP, uh, and SCP. Uh. The experiment primarily focused on researching the process of reality distortion led by Dr. George Thompson. The project lasted for a duration of five days. During the first three days, two Rorschach tests were conducted on SCP uh, and SCP. Uh. A level 3 hypnosis experiment was also conducted on 3D personnel influenced by SCP. When a, within a short period of time, the, experiment, the experimental subjects revealed varying degrees of immersion state and on the fourth day claimed being in a primary forest. The trees here are mainly Sequoia and Pinus Caribea. On the same day, the hume level of the surrounding environment was decreased to 37. On the fifth day, the described scene began to invade reality, causing the original experiment site and six experimental subjects to go missing. The project was forced to be suspended. There are no further investigation reports concerning this area. Dr. Thompson believes the experiment was primarily influenced by the reality distortion effects of SCP and thus can be considered its creation SCP 1. Uncoded officially. A detailed experiment record can be found in internal document site 105-06032. Really? We gotta go in there. We gotta get in there, Chad. We gotta get in there. But first, I gotta get the power on. Hmm... Hmm, what? What's up? Can I touch this? Yes. I gotta stop reading these scripts. I gotta. I gotta. It's gonna kill me. On April 27th, local time, five students were involved in a collective uh, incident at the Cleveland Institute of Arts and Drama Club in Ohio, and another faculty member died of stab wounds. A janitor was taken into custody as a suspect in the incident. His statement mentioned that four students used the uh, 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 from the ceiling during rehearsals. This was then repeated by the last remaining person until they assaulted the teacher. The teacher died two hours later. Following a forensic investigation of the scene, it was determined that the janitor had no clear motive for committing the crime. He's currently undergoing further observation in a psychiatric hospital. I see. I don't because most of it's redacted, but I do. Yo! Bro, what is that, bro? What is that? Is that a, is that a, is that a log? Is that a Swiss roll? Bro. That was on. Robots are gone. Why does that say 27? Chat, why does that say 27? SCP-701 scripts have been out for a week now, and the participants have, have had minor rehearsals as described above, but one thing continues to baffle me. They always seem to recite the wrong lines, every single person. It's strange, almost like it's orchestrated. When I try to correct them, they become defensive, insisting that they read the correct line. But other than that minor hiccup, everything else went well. I'm very much looking forward to the first full rehearsal in room 705 the day after next. The full rehearsal. After the full rehearsal, all will bear witness to the potential of SCP-701, and my name will become synonymous with it. Tyler Cooper, the genius behind the experiment who managed to tap its endless potential. This is history in the making. This game needs audio balancing badly, because God, the voice acting for the main character is so quiet. We're evacuating. Damn it. After the show, everyone went crazy. Everyone! Some hacked themselves. 
Some killed each other like beasts. And that damn evil white monster. This was all destined to happen when it brought in that script. Everything that happened here is all Cooper's fault. It's their fault. Uh -huh. He peeked the mic on the right on the fucking recording. The hydropower plant was shut down forever. And no doubt my experiment will also. What's going on? What's going on? Ah! Peeked it again. Dude, you gotta stay away from the mic. You gotta. You gotta stay away from the mic. Ah! Stop that! <laughs> like. <laughs> Dude, no, you that, you got a voice. You get you got a voice. No one's no one's gonna like not kill you, dude. He's got that kind of voice. Leave Mike alone. Oh. Ah! Cease this. <laughs> Sorry, bud. How about you fucking watch it? Reality is breaking down. Oh, sorry. Sorry. My bad. Gotta stop reading this. Yo! Is this... Chat, is this like a, this is an audio setup. This isn't even, this is an audio setup. This isn't even anything for like research. Oh, sorry, sorry, oh, my apologies. Did I not just push you down? Did I not just have, I thought I just taught you this lesson. Room 705. Chat. Room 705. Where the rehearsal was gonna happen. Don't you remember? Room 705. They were gonna have a rehearsal there. The day of the incident. Oh, fuck. Hey, fuck you! Yeah! Oh. Yeah, you thought you were gonna close the fucking door? Yeah, I don't think so. Leave it open. I'll kill him when I see him again. I'll kill him. How did the stage get past budgeting? You know, I don't know. The black box. Oh my god. Wait, that's the box. I can tell because it's a black box. Much unlike this black box. Or any other box we've seen today. That one is the true cube. Black box from Pony Station with important data inside. SYD II encrypted by technology department to be decrypted in other sites. Well, I guess we're getting the hell out of here. Fuck, I can't climb boxes. Guess we're going deeper. Literally, I can't jump in this game. Guess we're not going up. We're gonna have to go to the eighth floor. You know, statistically, 99% of all people die on the eighth floor. What is this? A handmade doll of SCP 049. Isn't that like bad? Can we, like, not want that around? Oh my god! That was a, that was like a fucking very slightly mild cognito hazard for me. I do not like it. I do not like the idea of falling 
any kind of distance. That scares me. I'm st I'm startled. Wait, is this where the memory cut off? Retrieve the black box from Pony Station. Looks like the Cognito Hazards really did a number on her. What are you talking about? I never Why? got hit by any Cognito Hazards. Hello. I'm a professional. There was no black box in sight when we found you. That's impossible. I'm positive. I, I know I had it in the escape elevator. And there is no escape elevator in Pony Station. None of what you're saying what? is up. That doesn't make any sense. I went it's to the eighth impossible. floor. It's just impossible. Look at me, Bella. Try and focus. What really happened? What really happened? Bella, think carefully. All right, fine. I ate one of the two week old Swiss rolls off of that plate and I blacked out. Okay, I blacked out. I was hungry. I ate it. I blacked out. I'm here for the black box. Maybe you heard of it. Now you're gonna tell me where the black box is, or I'm gonna have to pull out some martial arts to take you down. I swear to God, I will kick you vertically straight into that chandelier. If you don't bring the box out now. my box it's my. my box I left the box somewhere behind one of these sheets. Hang on. Oh, there it is. All right. I got it. Pick it up from underneath one of the boxes. You guys have a good day. I'm gonna get on out of here. Door's still there. Do I have to check on him? Hey, are you good? God. It's that goddamn Cognito Hassan! Ah! I, dude, it, 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 this guy's very fast, and I'm not exactly sure where he wants me to run. There we go. I just had to. I just had to evade him. Yeah, this place is a mess. 
The rehearsals have officially begun. Positively brilliant, my hands are shaking now as I write this experiment. The exciting avenues ahead. Though some sections stray from the original SCP-701 script, everyone remained perfectly in character, wholly consumed in the act. The audience, too, seemed to be entirely absorbed in the performance. A strange thing, though. I noticed a certain something. A person, perhaps, appear on the stage. It was not one of our original members, but, well, it was quiet and reserved, rather friendly. A tribute to Ambassador Algada. That is, it must be the truth, the splendid, magnificent truth. Hang the traitors. One in one, hang the betrayal. And the ignorance, together with the noose. Hang them all, hang them to alert all the world. Cheers and cheers all around for our great king. Let us bask in his glory. Together we follow him. The blood of fools we offer to the hanged king. The writing that follows is obscured by bloodstains. Wow, he... So SCP-701 is a script. One performance and now all of Pony Station is ruined. Dr. Cooper, what have you done? Dr. Cooper really dropped the ball on this one. <laughs> Damn, guys, chill. It seems that many people were trying to escape. Oh my god, that guy's entering his power-up stance. He must have punched that guy so fucking hard he died. After that. There's no way he didn't. That was that was like a fucking that was the kind of punch that like just full on fucking split someone in half. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. It's those mannequins. Where are they heading? Oh these mannequins. But nope. Don't read that. Volunteers gone. Everyone's fucking dying. They're all running for something. Must be the exit. It's gotta be the exit. It's gotta be the way out of this place. The tube. This is the way out. We just gotta. Oh. Oh no. How do you even get that much rope? You know, honestly, Chad, I'm gonna get stuck on some things that other people aren't gonna get stuck on. There's no way they had this much rope just hanging around. This is just like Death Stranding. Holy fuck. I guess this is the ending of their performance. SCP-701, The Hanged King's Tragedy. No? Wait, what are you doing? Go, don't go this way. No, no. I'm being invisible walled by an SCP, help. Help, I'm being, I'm being invisible walled by an SCP. An SCP just invisible walled me. Wow, thanks. I serve my king Who's there? With my blood. Ew. Ew. What the fuck? Ew. What's going on? Oh, this. Sacrifice his head and seek redemption with his blood. I. I Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Get him! Kill him! Kill him! Oh. Where's the box? The incognito hazard again. I need to leave right now. Where's the box? I need the box. We can't leave without the box. Oh my god, these two are about to fight. <laughs> They're in a gorilla. They're in some kind of like fight combat stance. They're stanced up. Everyone's squared up. 
Gotta get the hell out of here now. <laughs> Don't know an attack. Ow! Ow! Yeah, you can tell this guy's fucking dead. Damn, dude, take it easy. Chill, lady. What the fuck? Calm down. It's just a mannequin. I need to leave. We're gonna go. Damn it. Well, we're gonna be fine, Chad. I reckon the black box is gonna be right up this year's staircase. I got a good feeling we're gonna find that box. My people. My people, good to see you all. Very good. Ah, oh, yes. Your Majesty, Your Majesty. Blade. Thank you. Thank you. With my blood, I serve my king. Yeah, this SCP Foundation's budget was totally fucked. With my blood. I serve my king. The budget's all gone. It all went to this. With my blood, I serve my king. With my blood, I serve my king. With my blood, I serve my king. But what if I don't press E? Did it just pause until I press... Hey, why make it a QT at all? It's not like it, I have to mash the button. I just hold E. With my blood, I serve my king. Ow! Come on. That was easy. I defeated the SCP. I've just injected her with a sedative. If you need to let her rest for a while. Thanks, Doctor. Well, let's go then. What? We haven't found the black box yet. You still don't get it, do you? Get what? What do you mean? A black box is merely a vehicle for recording the truth. But a black box isn't always a black box. You mean... That's right. She is now the black box. What? Got time for a cold one? Because our work here is done. Oh my god. I was always the box. I serve my king with my blood. Blissful suffocation. Sacrifice. Dude, after this one, I would be like, yeah, I think I quit. Yeah, if I was the archive guy and I read this one, I'd be like, so they, they black boxed her? I quit. Hey, guys? The black box has been properly contained at site 105 and pending further investigation. Hey, I quit. Above is the full record of the inquiry. All right, well, enter data. Hang 
King's tragedy is a five-act revenge tragedy from the Carolyn era. Performances of the player associated with psychotic and suicidal behavior amongst both audience members and participants, in addition to the appearance of a mysterious character, SCP-701-1. Historical estimates place the number of lives claimed by the play at between 168 and 173 over the past 300 years. A typical case study of SCP-701 incident took place on May 27, 2009 during a group test experiment. Uh, the presiding project research leader at the time was Dr. Tyler. According to the research logs, SCP-701 is a self-evolving mimetic virus that spreads through unknown means via dramatic texts. Pony Station is currently under a full-scale lockdown. Archives pertaining to 701 are scattered throughout the site. That is indeed valuable information, sir, but according to our investigation of Bella, the data is no longer considered complete. The black box is only reliable is the only reliable recording containing the entirety of the research content. She is the sole complete database of 701. Uh, click text with the red outline after clicking the data dragging effect will be activated. Drag it to the archive. Oh, we're just dragging. We're just sliding it all over. Okay. Yeah, my job's easy. Oh, my God. Apparently, more of it comes out when you do that. We got the gist of it. Uh, by uh, living it. So we're just going to record it all. We got the gist of it by playing the level. I think we get it. And the last one. Yes, sir. -y. Submit it. My job's done. How's the first mission, Carl? Uh, I, I'm, a, I'm a bit confused, but I got over it. I'm not concerned about the fact that uh, an entire fucking building died. And then uh, a random operative was sent in to clean it up, but instead was simply used as a uh, vehicle for knowledge that is now being kept in a hospital bed for the rest of their life. I got over it, though. I don't care. Good. I have to admit, you are no worse than I expected. How about taco night for celebration? Stewart. Now that's something I could get behind. This guy wants taco night. So, are we really using a living being as a tool to contain anomalous objects? Hey, MIT boy. I've seen a great many field agents. They are prepared to sacrifice themselves any time in order to complete a task. Secure, contain, protect. For them, it is a creed worth paying the ultimate price for. And it is our duty to record all of this truthfully and honestly so that people may remember them forever. Dude, get fucking chill out, dude. Chill the fuck out. You, you make me cringe. Anyway. You completed your first mission smoothly. We should celebrate. How about going for a drink? Old place. Count me in. That sounds cool, but I can't drink one. No. Let's get drunk. It's been a long day. We're getting drunk. Hey, what about taco night? Or donut night? I'm not old enough to drink. Yeah, I gotta get home tonight. Rick and Morty's on. To celebrate the completion of my first ever archive mission, my colleagues threw a small party. It all started to grow on me, my colleagues in this place. I started to really enjoy all of it. Maybe it was all the drinking. I dreamt I was lost in a strange cave. It was dark and damp and smelled of decay. In the depths of the darkness, I saw at all times two red dots monitoring my every move. What a strange dream. Tequila is too strong of a drink. I need an espresso to serve me up. What about the tacos? What about taco night? Bro! Please! Rick and Morty's on! I don't want to go out tonight! Oh, hang on. Whatever you hear. Uh, new job, new... Wow, we. What the heck? I got... As the archivist, I know it's hard for me to say, can I get a TLDR on this one? But, uh, looks like we're looking at a regular clay pot, height of 23 centimeters, diameter of 28 centimeters. Do not be fooled by this appearance. It's an organism, a womb, 
of sorts. An earthen womb SCP-660 may be safely stored in a standard safe deposit box, provided its mouth remains covered with an inert perspex disc and sealed with tamper-proof tape. Some duck skin flaps. Uh, st Let's go ahead and document it. SCP-660, yep. Uh, maybe checked out for testing and research within with the written approval of staff of level three clearance or higher. Let's get this in there. Yep. SCP-660 is capable of indefinitely preserving all biological tissue placed within it, regardless of external conditions or the state of the sample. Until the tissues are removed, living tissue will remain viable and living organisms will remain alive even when deprived of sustenance for extended periods of time. While the exact mechanism responsible for this is uncertain, isotopic labeling has shown that it involves the exchange of biologic biological matter between the sample and SCP-660's interior coating. Weird. Don't like it. Submit it. Oh, wait, I think there's more. Something down here. All right. Yeah, this is my job. I did forget this is my job. Another day, another dollar. Addendum 143. I just love, I just love work. SCP-143, Class Euclid. Gotta get that paycheck. SCP-143 is to be contained in the valley adjacent to the bio-research area 12, an area over 2 kilometers squared. SCP-143 is a plantation of 300 specimens of a unique type of tree. It's a fucking weird-ass tree. The petals are light pinkish. Cameras are taken when handling the petals as their edges are razor sharp and can easily slice through flesh if mishandled. Go ahead and make sure we add addendum 1432. 143 is to be watered twice a day, twice every day on a regular basis via a large sprinkler system unless already watered by local precipitation. Personnel are not allowed to enter the enclosure without level 4 administrative clearance and are advised to not touch any of SCP-143 nor stand beneath them unless wearing protective gear. It is important that no one within the containment area within 143... Wait, what is it? It's important that no one be within the containment area when 143 begins to shed. However, the shedding... After the shedding has concluded, the collection of the fallen petals for testing purposes has been authorized. I see. Wooden bark or light grayish color. Petals of the wood of these trees are much harder than most natural or man-made substances, reaching up to 5,000 HB on the brittle scale and withstanding temperatures of up to 1,800 Celsius. The weight-to-strength ratio surpasses even that of titanium, being some 15% lighter than aluminum. Despite this hardiness, the wooden petals are quite supple and are pliable and are as pliable as most woods are. Both are notoriously difficult to work with due to their properties, but under high temperatures upwards of 1500 Celsius, separate pieces are capable of being fused together. They make excellent armor, shielding, and weapons. Due to the slow growth of the plants, the material is slow to harvest. Although the petals are Shed regularly enough, falling from the trees twice every year. Is this what I do all day? I was never ready for the game to just be like, now do your fucking job. Well, this is just safety regulations. What is that? Oh, this is the vending machine. We know this. Cheetos. But this is the this is the this is some kind of vending machine? Coke Zero comes out with the Coke Zero. I write the SCP wiki. <laughs> mm, well, you know, someone's got to do it. Someone's got to be the guy who writes the wiki. Don't be mean to me. We're just going to go ahead and punch all this in, call it a day. Yep. Oh, hang on. Stewart's messaging me. Zoe, it's five minutes to four o'clock now. Just about ready. Kent, you're not coming? I don't want Kent to come. Nah, I don't like Kent. I don't want Kent to hang out with me. Doesn't suit me. No one likes Kent. Guys, aren't you forgetting someone? Oh my god, this is how you actually ruin everyone else's day. By being like, guys, aren't you forgetting someone? Me. Am I not invited? 
guys, come on. Hi, Carl. We didn't forget you. We just didn't want to invite you. We're going to attend the monthly lecture. Monthly lecture? Answer me! Each month, the Foundation invites someone famous to hold a lecture to share new knowledge and insights pertaining to SCP. For this month's lecture, they invited Dr. Trevor. He holds a high reputation within the Foundation. Okay, let's go. I'm coming. I'll send you the link to the monthly lecture. Oh, it's not, we don't go, we just... It's a training system. Daniel, Trevor. Daniel and Dragon. Some kind of dragon. What is this? I don't want to be Cognito Hazard. Please don't Cognito Hazard me. Dragon D's nuts. Bro! Fucking funny! There are many stories in this world. Some are read widely all over the world. Some are hidden in dust and known only by a handful of people. Today I'm going to tell you a story no one else has heard before. I a see. real story of mystery and wonder and adventure. And then you too will become the guardian of this story. The story takes place in a world of long ago. The hero of our story is a little boy. His name is Daniel. Okay. One day, out of nowhere, Daniel got a serious case of chicken pox. Oh no, that's not good. It made him look like a strawberry. To make it's sure good. he didn't spread it to others. Is this a children's Mrs. book? Page, the principal had him What's happening? In an attic. And so, in the attic he lived, all on his own. They isolated him in the attic? Be gone, creature. Nice audio balancing, lady. Nice balancing. I can almost understand you. The melody is so difficult. This music needs to chill. So badly. Sound quality. Cinematic. We, that's the problem. We found the issue. Ladies and gentlemen, we got there. Give up before you fight. Oh. Well, shit. Daniel was reluctant at first, but he trusted Mr. This Page is so bright. I had to turn Mr. down Whistle. the actual fucking and visuals. And so he practiced the penny whistle. Are we actually going to get to play the penny whistle right now? Hang on. I'm fucking adjusting the, the visuals. Okay, it's better. Well, kid, let's get some practice on the penny whistle. Remember when this was an SCP game? Is... No sounds really coming out. I'm just making popping sounds. Is a penny whistle just a recorder? When does a peanut creature come and break this kid's fucking head off? <laughs> I'm not- I don't necessarily want this child to die, I'm just saying, I- I never drop my guard. Suddenly, he heard some strange noises in the corner of the attic. Will you turn down the music? Because literally, I cannot understand what they're saying! I thought this was a conference. I blacked out. Uh? Oh. Damn, this game's got some very solid visual and art direction. I'll give it that much. It was a mouse trap. 
and there was a red origami paper dragon inside of it. Horrible SCP creature, even I know this one, picks up origami dragon, fucking bites it in half. You think I'm going to fall for this? I'm not going to allow you to like fly into my like skin and like make me explode. I'm not going to allow it. Daniel carefully removed it. It was marvelous and beautiful. The only problem was part of its wing was damaged. But oh. Daniel found a way to repair it. Bro. I mean, choose the item to repair the drag. <laughs> this feels like extreme. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. mm -mm. mm -mm. Nope. There it is. There it is. Daniel held the repaired paper dragon high, high up in the air. What is this literally for kids? Over all the world below. He played and played with the paper dragon. I thought he was. I thought he had chicken pox. You're having way too much fun for someone that's quarantined with chicken pox, kid. In the warm afternoon sun, Daniel had to fight his eyelids just to keep them open. Is it? Could it be? Could it be? Or is this all just a dream? The next day, with boredom and loneliness weighing him down, he began to fiddle with the old radio. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that, that's realistic for like a child. <laughs> uh, it was a, a lovely, a lovely day. Uh, Daniel woke up. He decided to, uh, Walk out over to the old ham radio and give it a give it a whirl. See if you can see if you can get anything on it. <laughs> All right. I'm getting something. Our town is located in the plains where earthquakes are not particularly common. Although there are 17 fault zones around us, they are all inactive. That seems like foreshadowing. There has been an earthquake out here in these plains in 40 years. A up ball of paper rolled over to his feet. Where did this paper ball come from? Just Solid as acting. Daniel went to pick it up, the ball suddenly came to life. The only reasonable thing to ask. Away. Daniel chased after it. Where did this ball come from? My dog is barking. Oh, get the fuck over here right now. Creepy fucking thing. Creepy fucking thing. Come here. Just as he was about to seize the rolling paper ball, suddenly, terrible sparks. <laughs> <erupted from him. laughs> By God, Daniel, get down! Before his Daniel! Eyes, the paper ball began to grow bigger and bigger. Oh my god! At that moment, a red figure suddenly appeared. The red figure quickly subdued the paper ball and threw it into a cardboard box. Daniel studied the red figure carefully. It's a fucking dragon. It had a sticker on its fluttering wing. Bro. It was the paper dragon. I wasn't dreaming. Thank you for saving me. Daniel was grateful and very happy. Daniel, aren't you dying of chicken pox right dragon, now? But the paper dragon seemed timid and afraid. Are you, are you fucking away. dying of chicken pox? Just then, Daniel had an idea. He took out his penny whistle and slowly played a tune. Oh, here we go. 
See if we can. Right, I'm all warmed up. Let's do this. Going to the bathroom. I'll be right back. The paper dragon enjoyed the sound very much. It began to move along with the rhythm, flipping up and down in the air. Soon the two were playing. Yeah, I'm dancing, back just in time. Just like old friends. What happened? What happened? What happened? What happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> He loved it. Oh, nice. Dude, all this. Let me tell you what's the worst thing about this section of the game. It's telling me it's really, really good at telling me how filthy my fucking monitor is. Communicating with Daniel. I can see every little smudge on my monitor right now. My cherished. Bro, <laughs> what? After many long years. I am not an evil creature of the darkness. Tell me, how has your family been? Satan? for playing that music for me. El Diablo? <laughs> how I love the beautiful rhythm of that instrument. But we ought to take precautions, as the room is not stable. Do you what? still remember how the room works? You are welcome to visit any time. What? The piece of paper then changed back into the shape of a paper dragon and flew into the cardboard box. The box closed shut and a calm silence was restored to the attic. El Diablo. El Diablo has contacted me. Daniel rushed to find a watercolor pen and marked the box with excitement in his fingertips. Here. Be dra technically there's only one, you stupid fool. You've only seen one dragon. You've only seen one, you fool. There's only been one. Over the next few days, the paper dragon came out often to play with Daniel. During this time, Daniel introduced many of his friends to the paper dragon. Oh yeah? Like who, Daniel? Like who? Who you really got? That cat's name is Mrs. Carter. Yo! Ever since I secretly fed her some fish for dinner, we've been good friends. That's Duke. Yo! Pet. He doesn't like rainy days. Or Mrs. Carter. Only smoke sausages for his taste. And now... We are friends too. My name is Daniel. What's your name? Daniel, your your window's shaking. I think there's a small earthquake happening, Daniel. I didn't understand him. Oh wait, no, it was nothing. I saw the window was shaking on the screen. I thought maybe there is a earthquake beginning, you know, but surely there aren't any earthquakes that could possibly happen out here. We haven't had an earthquake out here in 40 years. In 40 years, not so much as a shake beneath the earth. Our feet are totally fully comfortably planted on the Stationary, totally stationary soil. Hmm. Well, since you like the sound of the penny whistle so Do much, they? why don't I just call you Penny? I'll keep practicing to make it sound yeah, better. You will. Yeah, you can keep practicing. Daniel and Penny then played baseball together in the attic. How the what hell does that? that thing play fucking baseball? You tell me, you explain to me how that thing participates in baseball. 
You fucking sl- you hit a baseball at him. All right. You throw a baseball at him going 90. Like if you get a pro fucking baseball player to huck a baseball at him, he's going to be dust. All right. He can't catch a fucking ball. He can't swing a bat. Oh, I'm actually going to be throwing this. Dude, stop evading me. The whole point said I throw it at you. <laughs> oh, he did catch it. Damn, he's strong. Okay, he might be more powerful than I thought. But this isn't... One, my character has a really shitty aim. And two, this isn't really baseball. This is just more of a catch. Yeah. Can I smash my windows? But just as they were in the middle of enjoying themselves, a violent shaking suddenly rose from the ground. The oh my Star God. Earthquake is back at it, folks, and it seems even stronger than last time. My God, folks, it's the end of all days. This folks. moment, the box suddenly shot open, and thick clouds of smoke billowed out, followed by several paper balls. Penny attacked the paper balls without a moment's hesitation and promptly threw them back into the box. Should we get rid of the... I mean, like, I know that Penny's Penny from the box, then but... Penny flew like, around in front of Daniel and rushed right back into the box. It just doesn't box. feel safe. It feels like As a dangerous box. Closed, box. The earthquake stopped. You're telling me I have a box? Farewell you're telling me I have a box here that causes earthquakes? Daniel felt confused and lost. He moved the box to the center of the attic. Facing it, he practiced his penny whistle, day in and day out. How long has this kid had chicken pox? <laughs> I know a lot of people get, like, are invested in the story otherwise. He's had this, he's had this, sh by, these chicken pox Daniel's for truly two months. I think he, I, I think Mrs. Page forgot him in the attic. I think she's downstairs a floor wondering why sometimes she hears scary bumps coming from the attic and sounds. What if everyone downstairs died? What if there's no one in the house anymore and Daniel was told that someone would come get him? Someone has to help Daniel and this dragon can't do it. He needs child services. One day, he needs someone to help him. began to move. <laughs> One, two, three, four. This time there were four paper dragons. Yo! But they weren't alone. Enemies began to jump out of the box too. Oh, am I gonna die? Thousands are dying, folks! It's one of the worst earthquakes this countryside has ever seen! Fought fiercely against the paper balls. This time, the paper balls use new tactics. They clump together into a single monstrous ball of paper. The Omega Ball! They began to shoot strong bursts the, of the big one! At the paper dragons as they flew through the air. As they were hit, the paper dragons fell from the air. One after no! One. Not the dragons! No! Seeing the injured. Do something, Daniel! You fuck up! Do something! And anxious. Oh, you feel anxious? You're oh, oh! Everyone, let's everyone stop. Everyone, slow down. Ang Daniel's feeling anxious right now in the middle of this war zone. Just then, one of the paper dragons painfully started to fly. Oh my god. gathered the remainder of its power. Oh my god. The paper dragon transformed into a great beam of light and dove straight down to pierce through the monstrous paper ball. And then came another paper dragon. Oh my god. 
the monstrous paper ball was blasted to bits, exploding into smaller paper balls. Trembling, they struggled to escape back into the box. Daniel's room is trashed. Paper dragons were reduced to swirling shreds of paper. And I mean, and a probably a couple prevailed. dozen people are dead outside. And tranquility were restored once again to the attic. Is what I would guess. Daniel saw the remaining two paper dragons lying on the floor, badly wounded. No! He rushed to grab some stickers and treated them at once. Bro! Oh. You guys seem fine. I can't be safe. I've saved you. Suddenly, countless paper dragons began to gush from the box. Wow. Penny, you invited all of your friends into my house without my permission. And began to fly. Thanks. Like two colored threads. I love that. The other dragons flying in unison. The dragons moved like a tide. Wow. Freely through the attic. You guys are shitting all over the walls and counters and, and bookshelves and all my stuff. He showed all I didn't know paper, paper could do that. Plans, the results of his hard work and practice. Here we go. This is the one where this is the big one. Watching. Oh, fuck. Oh shit. Oh fuck. He's got in big trouble. He's doing it. That's how you get it, dude. I actually can't miss. <laughs> I can join in. I might as well, we're here. <laughs> one last, one last solo. I got one. Did I do it? In the sweet melody of his playing, Daniel felt himself enter into the world of dragons. Thank you for summoning me. Thank you, thank you. I'm in the world of the dragons. Wow, this place is incredible. Oh my God, that dragon is real. Does that mean right now I'm made out of paper? What is this? The paper dragons merged into a long letter and floated down towards Daniel to tell their story. Daniel does, n I, I don't know, something off about Daniel in this one. Stop! Like, he's almost like afraid to receive these letters. Like, he doesn't actually wanna, you know what I mean? Uh. 
after the last war. The <laughs> fantasy world enjoyed a long spell of peace and stability. But it is I. Giants have returned. They have launched ferocious attacks, trying to invade Penny, the, the, room. the concluder of days. To launch the Thank you for bearing my wing. Now I can continue the my great work. Is the last remaining entryway into your world. Please believe this farewell will only be temporary. No. We will not be apart forever. And we will never forget our eternal mission of protecting you. It's just so, it, Penny, it's like, I, we're friends, and honestly, I think we're really good buds, and we can continue to be really good buds, but it has been a week, and you've sworn an eternal mission of protecting me. When my chicken pox go away, I will return to the outside. I won't continue to live in here. At that moment, the paper dragons flew back into the box. I'm going to touch grass, Penny. I can't live like this. ...what the paper dragons had meant, but he had a vague feeling in his heart that he may never see his new friends again. No. A few days later, Daniel's chicken pox had fully recovered. Oh, I thought they were about to say a few days later, some guys in suits from SCP pushed him over and stole the box. But That's what I was banking on. dragons never returned. Yeah, this uh, box causes 9.0 earthquake. Sorry, kid. Get the fuck out of my way. And then they just pick it up and leave. Like, I don't know. I just feel like that would have made sense. Anyways, got, need to have my three Legos. Gotta have my books in there. Gotta have my baseball. Gotta have my weird dice. And gotta have my jam machine. Oh, yeah. Maybe it was time to leave and move on. Earthquake warning! Magnitude 6.2! A massive earthquake is hitting our town! All townspeople, please leave your houses immediately and move to safe open spaces! Everyone get the fuck out of here! Someone's opening that box! Countless paper dragons shot from the cardboard box. However, it seemed like they were under attack. Spinning and falling through the air in confusion. What's happening? Daniel, do Daniel something! He grabbed the stickers out from his bag and did his best. We to need a medic on the field! <laughs> we need a medic now! Oh boy, I don't have this many stickers. I don't have this many stickers. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna get you out of here, man! I'm gonna get- Don't worry, you're gonna live! You're gonna live, I just need to- <laughs> I can't save them all! I can't save them all! It's a massacre! It's a massacre! Guys, I just don't, I just can't believe Penny thought that it was okay to invite all of his horribly wounded, like, soldiers into my house. It just feels like there should have been other options. Oh my god, it's the balls! <laughs> but the paper balls swarmed together and pushed Daniel away. My god, he's not gonna make it! Firmly in the corner. He couldn't move. Mayday! Mayday! We're going down! He's never gonna survive that many paper cuts! Suddenly, ominous clouds rose from the box, and a violent lightning flashed through the room. The figure of a giant slowly emerged from the thick clouds, and the entire attic became overwhelmed with its ease. Sit down! The earthquake is going stronger, now with a magnitude of 7.1. Heaven almighty, are we doomed? I feel like this guy shouldn't be a radio. Uh, the giant yeah, the guy on the radio, it seems kind of panicking. The paper 
dragons struggled against it, with no means of fighting back. Daniel's house should be rubble. <laughs> Daniel should be dead by now. A 7.1 earthquake and his fucking box is the epicenter. His ass should be buried beneath rocks. He should be dead. This is a training video. This. Yeah. At this critical moment, two paper dragons shined brilliantly. Oh my god, they're going. They're going to do it. They heroically crashed their bodies into the giant. Daniel thought the giant had been defeated. Daniel, paper it's just dragons. paper. But soon, he found that things would probably not be so simple. Get the pit. Just. Get the paper off of you. It's paper. The giant's figure could still be seen in the thick smoke, looking evil and terrible. The attacks of the paper dragons had had no effect. Ah! The giant had only ah! Ah! It fought back with a new ferocity. The paper dragons were simply no match for it. Millions dead. <laughs> Millions dead are dying as a 9.0 earthquake continues to happen for 12 straight minutes, folks. This is truly unbelievable. The paper dragons now all but defeated. Daniel spotted a frail figure in the distance. Oh. It was Penny. Penny. It flew gently in front of Daniel. Bro and affectionately rubbed its head against his fingers Bro. as if this whole crisis had never happened. Daniel felt like Penny was trying to tell him something, but he didn't quite understand what. Dude, Daniel kind of dumb though. Daniel kind of stupid. Penny then left Daniel, Daniel and soared into the air with a determination in its wings. Suddenly, the other paper dragons seemed to be summoned. They flew through the air, all together in unison, responding to the call without an ounce of hesitation. At that moment, Penny turned into a great red bean. Penny, no! Towards the giant. The other dragons followed, shining together like a shooting star. At that moment, Daniel seemed to see a real dragon flying. Start fucking no! crying. <laughs> the huge explosion from the impact drowned out everything else in the attic. No! The attic rained down with countless pieces of paper. The leftover scraps of the paper. Dragons. Shell shocked, ringing ears, paper falling from the ground. All he hears is screaming. Daniel's life changed forever. Outside, he hears yet more screaming because, again, 9.0 earthquake running for 12 minutes. Most of this fucking state is smoke and fire. Most of this goddamn state. Is smoke and fire one of the worst crises of a natural disaster we've seen in in human history? Is what I would say. How is this house still standing? Friendship. How is everything still on the walls? How is this sitting here? Benny, no. Everyone. We can we can put them back together, Chad. We can put them back together. We can use the stickers. I found his leg. I found his leg, his little dragon leg. Fuck, I actually have no idea. Um, shit. Bro. 
Am I prepared to use dark necromantic magic to bring back my dead friend? Is that what they would want? Goodbye, my friend. I knew it was God had something to do with this. I knew it was God at the end of the day. When Daniel wouldn't do nothing, and at least someone did. How's the town safe? God. I get down on my knees when the earthquake is happening. I see I see I see the world falling down around me. I tell God, please turn it off right now, please. Pretty please. And he does. Alright. Pray to God. <laughs> God bless the U.S. of A. The art festival was held as scheduled. Daniel attended the show with his penny whistle. Uh-oh. He was never very good at it. And now, Daniel Trevor will perform a penny whistle solo. See if I still got what it takes. Uh, hey everyone, um, it's me, Daniel. I, uh, here we go. This one goes out to my boy, Penny. All right, R.I.P. Goddamn war hero. Okay. <laughs> the picture's started. I started to feel bad. But it's not much better. These just popping sounds. Penny fucking died for this. God damn it. Bro. When does, when does a monster uh, come out and... and, and kill everyone in the audience and then Daniel like a SCP would. I don't like this. The only horror we found here today was our emotions and how terrifying it is to confront them. Not all SCP are monsters. Wrong, brother. If I don't understand it, it's a monster. And that's how the story ends. Now, you might be wondering, what happened next? Are there still paper dragons in the world? Well, that's a difficult question to answer. But I believe that they are still protecting us somewhere in this world. What are you talking about? Just like they promised they would. They're in a box. They're, they're in a glass eternity. box. So someone really did show up at Daniel's house and be like, so I heard you had some fucking uh, dragon creatures in here that were causing earth. <laughs> Fuck out of my way. And they just take the box. <laughs> when Daniel tries to stop them and they just take the box. <laughs> you like my box now, motherfucker. SCB property, asshole. SCB property. I'm going to like, we're going to pour a bunch of slime into this thing. Maybe pour some concrete and see what happens. Figure out how it works. Did I just, so you're telling me I spent this whole time, basically we joined a lecture, which was actually Daniel, wait, Daniel Trevor, that was, that Daniel, you're telling me rather than an SCP agent be like, get the fuck out of my face and then steal the box. Instead, Daniel was like, I'm going to take my dragons and put them in jail. This guy sold out Penny and brought them to the foundation. 
This guy narked so hard. He's a fucking narc. I hate, I hate Daniel. I knew there was something off about that guy. Dragon sore. Awesome, but where are they being contained now? <clears throat> SCP-1762 is now being contained at Reliquary Research Institute where Dr. Daniel is the supervising director. That cardboard box has remained silent. How do you know all this, Ghent? I thought you didn't attend the monthly lecture. Ghent? Under the direction of Dr. Trevor, Ghent spent two years researching 1762, so he knows far more than we do. <clears throat> wow. Wow. Hey, I told you all that that particular SCP didn't suit me. Oh, come on, Ghent. But really, imagining you tidying up files and piles of cute little fairy books is kind of adorable. Enough already, I'm going back to work, but I'm going to stress the point again. That particular SCP did not suit me, for it did not kill. And aim. It, was an e it wasn't an evil creature, and thus I had no interest in it. I have been here for a month now. I'm now entirely adjusted to the job. Though the content of my work is to simply process archive files, it is work that, I will, ne that will never bore me. A few absurd jokes aside, most of the archives are really rather fascinating. I have been having hallucinations lately. I feel like someone is calling me. A voice low and uncertain. They seem to be trying to communicate with me, but I cannot understand a single word they say. In fact, I had planned on seeing a doctor, but Zoe told me it was uh, the typical rookie syndrome and that it would clear up in a few days. I certainly hope that is the case. He's got rookie madness. Another day, another dollar. <sighs> You're curing some kind of safe SCP. Some kind of antique perfume bottle. Yep. Containing approximately 2.4 cc's of an unidentified colorless liquid. Coming from Victorian era England, though. Mm hmm. And in two to eight hours, it kills anything it touches, I can only assume. Yeah, it's some kind of disgusting substance. Don't care. Submit. TLDR it next time. O90B. Yeah. Oh my god. We're looking at some kind of keter. Oh my god. The hell is this thing? Artifact is be held in a secure bunker in the facility at site mm -hmm. and constantly monitored by approved Class D personnel. The object's new arrangement is to be imaged every time it shifts. Oh my god. No personnel to touch SCP-90, except under order- <coughs> AXA security level has been created for monitoring SCP-090. Non-AXA personnel found in the facility will be terminated. Some kind of black cubic structure. Wait. 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters by 20 centimeters. The cube. It's... The black box. Object classified as indestructible following tests outlined in document 090B. Maybe we maybe we just submit this one and move on. Get this one. Memetics are a type of information particle that contain supernatural abilities. Memeto hazard. I don't care about understanding memetics. I'll tell you what. Safe class. Put it all in there. God, I can't believe this game about archiving wants me to read. Yuck! <laughs> Ew. Carl. 
What happened, boss? What's up? What do you want from me? There's a temporary archive that needs to be sorted. Okay. The others are in the field, so you'll have to take over. Temporary archive? Am I qualified enough? This is a mission as an emergency, Carl. You're the only one that can do it. It is beyond your current level. You may not survive. But your recent performance has proven that you have the ability to accomplish it. You can count on me, boss. I'll do anything. Remember. Stay sane and always in awe. Alright, get to it then. Yeah, you got it, sir. So what have we here? So, uh, uh, D6744, Mike Donald, SCP-239, Synapse. Uh, some kind of a... You, uh, <laughs> I'm in. <clears throat> D6744, please provide your identification code according to the mission letter. I got some shreds on my fucking eyes! Get this shit off my eyes! Uh, tell me, Doc, when was the last time this rag on my head was washed? D6744. According to the 7th edition of the Security Regulation Amendment, you must first provide your identification code. Otherwise, you will be executed. Yeah, I got your identification code right here! Points towards my dick! D-Boys, motherfucker! D-Boys! Alright, that's my identification right there, you... you freak! Oh, God! Fuck! Ow! Mike Donald. Consciousness Intrusion Expert, former leader of MTF UP2, codename Spider. Now, level D personnel, number 6744. Enough of these damn formalities. Just what the hell you want me to do? D6744, do you know about the Witch Plan? I've heard the name, that's all. A uh, what? The plan is under the direct command of O5. Every last detail of the plan is protected by the strictest confidential terms. So what? D6744. What you're about to witness is top secret information of the Foundation. Oh, cool! What the hell is going on? A few hours ago, something went wrong with the Witch Plan experiment. The energy of the human anomaly, SCP-239, is out of control. Epic! It's diffusing outward, disintegrating everything it touches. You guys seriously is that the witch floating in the air right there? SCP-239 is now what? a ticking time bomb. Okay. She could go off at any moment. D-6744, I need you to enter the consciousness of SCP-239 to stop this bomb from exploding. What? The neural key is fully charged and ready to uh, enter up, the target consciousness space. Begin the program. Oh, wait, what? Consciousness uh, begins what's to link. Uh, D6744, we don't have it. much time left. Three, fuck, fuck, wait, two, wait, 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 wait. I'm in the consciousness realm. I was gonna knock it over. They beat me to it, but I was going to do it. Hey. Hello? I was going to do that, but they beat me to it again. I'm going to get this one first. I was going to do that, but uh, they just keep beating me to it. Can you hear me? Son of a bitch. Fuck you. The situation is urgent. If you were still the way you used to be, you would have done the same. Uh, hello there? Hello? Uh, hey, wait! D6744, what did you see? A little girl, but she ran away when she saw me. That little girl is SCP-239. What else have you discovered? Ah, uh, she like a fucking weird... Like, or looks to be a music box? Summon me. Help. Help me. 
girl's consciousness is severely damaged. That probably explains her total loss of energy control. Then how should we proceed? Ah, uh, well, I'm gonna just go ahead and fucking... Just... Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna try something. I'll have to enter her pre-conscious. Yeah, There's we'll have to enter her pre-conscious. Well, just, just, everyone take it easy. Calm the fuck down. We're gonna enter a pre-conscious. You really are the right person for this mission. D-6744, I must remind you, SCP-239 is no ordinary girl. She is uniquely dangerous. Do not forget. Yeah, I got it. I'm dangerous too, don't forget. Damn, dude, take it easy, man. <laughs> All right, we are now two consciousness levels into this girl's dream brain. Pretty sure this movie's about this. Eternal black science. The hell is Zeus, brainstorm, whisper, butterfly, garden, activate, wings, fat, passion, French, resin, aurora, red. Just gonna ignore this guy. Doesn't really matter to me. Dude, I already I interrupted you a while ago. I was leaving. Holy mother of Ow! How fast is it? Fast. <sighs> <laughs> Always go left. Ow! He's putting JPEGs on my screen. PNGs. Link all fragments in correct order. Lines cannot intersect. Fragments may only be linked once. So I have to do it just in the order it says? Okay, I did it. I'm Dr. Pierce. We are now conducting ability control test number 125 of SCP-239. Okay, let us begin. First, set voltage strength to 30 kilovolts. Power on. Does this fucking thing have a MIDI in port? SCP-239. It's a fucking MIDI the target in. target object to the designated location. What are these? What are these? Ability control test number 125 has failed. The voltage intensity must be insufficient. I'll need a new test site, along with new equipment that can handle a greater voltage load. <laughs> Well, uh, go ahead and grab whatever this is. So tired. See Let me see Just a while. I okay. I thought it was I'm just gonna ignore that. All right. Bird's nest calling D sixty seven forty four. Do you copy? Yes, copy. Fireworker. I read you. Of SCP I'm seeing some wild reflections What's that just situation? don't. Situation's more complicated than I thought. Makes sense. Need more time. Be quick about it. I got it. Quit rushing me. Out. Oh, there we have it. The green zone. This is one of the most dangerous zones in the world. Have you heard? Heard what? 
I fucking actually hate it whenever anyone says, have you heard, without f completing what they wanted to say. You sure it's not just a rumor? Today's morning session was chaired by Dr. Pierce. It's true. Trust me. If I'm being honest, I don't really like Dr. Pierce. Oh! <gasps> you know, just gives me the creep. <coughs> He's coming. Stop. What the fuck is it? Take it easy. All right? All right, let's see here. Link all the fragments in the correct order. Lines cannot intersect. I'm confused because is it just doing it for me? Does none of this matter? None of this ever mattered. I don't know why it says it's a puzzle when it shows me the solution. The preparations for the experiment coming along. It Easy mode. There is no other difficulty. Good. Anything to be aware of? There's only one. Went to the counseling room after yesterday's experiment. Give him an injection of amnestic agent. Amnestic. Take his place. I say you're right. Well, uh, I guess we're going this way because the other way is covered in lightning. We have an employee card. Sean's employee card. Sean Pierce. Can I see this without the? I want to see the actual image. I want to see this guy. <laughs> I'm not evil. No, no, no. I'm just after the truth. I'm just after the truth. Trust me. Sean Pierce is an anime antagonist. What have we here? A lot of failed testing there. Can't open that door. Not much of anything else in here. Switch that on. Try again. Set voltage strength to 250 kilovolts. Dr. Pierce, the heart rate of SCP-239 has now exceeded 160. Wow. Her physiological indicators are quickly approaching their limit. Perhaps we should consider pausing for a while. Continue. Pressurize. Set to 250 kilovolts. Go. Now. SCP-239. Pay close attention to my instructions. Hey. That car in front of you. Hey, Sean. Sean, is this one a good idea? Okay. All right. What's the meaning of this? Sean Pierce. Violet. Violet. Long time, Sean. What's it been? Seven years? I've got no time to play catch up with you. Not a great first impression you're leaving either. Barging into my lab and interfering with my experiments. According to Foundation security regulations, I could have you detained, you know. <laughs> Still the same old tempo. You haven't changed one bit, Sean. Well, if you want to talk business, then let's talk business. You should have a look at this first. Can I see two? This is... No. No. Sean? This is O5's mandate. Effective immediately. Which plan and all SCP-239 experiments will be led by me. Damn, dude, that's embarrassing. That's... No! This no! Is... It's not possible. No! Oh, my research! The simple fact is that the development of SCP-239 is moving too slow. They want a more ambitious approach. A new process, if you will. How did- hang on. A new process? Hang on. What new process? Chad, we're in the memories of the girl. Process. How are we- was she- wa was she like sitting in the corner during this? Sean, let us end our bickering. How the hell does she know this conversation Everybody happened? comes to those who fight. And to those who last. Wait a minute. What the hell's going on? Hold up a second here. Yeah, I was just saying what we already know. 
Uh, where do you want me to go now? I've been trapped. Oh. She's a super powerful reality bender, actually. Holy shit, Chet. Holy shit, Chet. The thing is, I do not care. I just don't care. Fucking just don't care. Bird's nest, do you copy? Copy, loud and clear. This is Firewalker exactly coming in. Is which plan? That's not your concern. Focus on the mission at hand. Stop the spread of energy diffusion released by SCP-239, and do it quick. Yeah, sure. You solve it for me? Is it finally not solving it for me anymore? Oh, nice. Director I mean, I didn't need help. The storybooks and toys we ordered have arrived at C3 Warehouse. Good. How's the containment room remodeling coming along? The bed and daily necessities are all in place. The demolition of the ARB potential development plan will be completed next. Good and good. Now, how about the formal meeting with our little princess? Oh god, they're still using old, bad... The only the only thing that ever came out of any of these was a spider walking across it and scaring everyone in a room. Alright, nothing good ever came out of one of these projectors other than that. Scary spider. Jump scaring everyone. Care about that? Where's the ID? Not the ID either. Where the hell's my ID? Oh my god, it's a bunch of lore and I skipped all of it. Oh no. Am I trapped? They never gave me my employee card. I'm trapped inside of a memory inside of a girl's psyche. Oh god, everyone, every single human being in this facility is hot but me. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Damn it. Everyone's an anime villain, and they're all hot. Well, uh... Here we are. Aren't you supposed to be Hello in there. your box? Where you belong? Uh, hold on a second. I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh my god. god. That was a mimetic event right there, what just happened. Hello there, Charlie. Are you having nightmares? When you feel scared, just close your eyes. Imagine something beautiful, and those terrible things will disappear. So, Dude, I wonder if putting this kid in like a glass box in the middle of a giant fucking room wasn't very healthy. I will take care of you from now on. Also, no one will hurt you ever again. How is this, <laughs> this camera connected to? Where's the wires? Oh. Well, it's Bluetooth. All right. That's it for today's bed. Oh, cool bear. We'll have a little test tomorrow. You need your rest. Afraid. S sleep. Nightmares. SCP-239. Yes. Are you afraid of having nightmares? That book say. Yes. Afraid. Just remember what I told you. When you feel scared, just close your eyes. Imagine your little friends in the stories all running out of their books to come play with you. Then you won't be afraid. 
Get some sleep now. Remember to imagine those beautiful images. Yeah, go to go to hell to sleep. Very good. She's using her imagination. That's a good thing, right? What is this? I already did a storybook chapter. Can we speed through this? Ah! Oh, <gasps> each little turtle. Wow, that was this. I'm accidentally fixing this elephant. Oh, no. No, wrong one. No, 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 no. I gotta downscale the leg. Yeah, I'm not a fool. The robin needs an elephant. This is the house should have very strong floors. This is just not what I, I... I really like this game, but it's not what I expected from an SCP game. It's definitely like, surprising me quite a bit. What it decides to do. What the hell is happening? You tell me. This girl's story fucking sucks. Uh, this story this lacks the same... This story isn't compelling me like the dragon one. Kid, you're gonna have to become a better reader. This, this book is bad. Horrible creatures. Actually horrible creatures. So we can bathe anytime and sleep anytime. The robin shakes off the water droplets and flies away. Well, here we are at the next one. What the hell is this fucking Flappy Bird? Did this game just Flappy Bird me? Did this game just Flappy Bird me? You're telling me this game just Flappy Birded me? I got Flappy Bird. The audacity to Flappy Bird me at four hours into the stream where I'm legally allowed to leave whenever I want. The audacity to Flappy Bird me at that point. Where does this, where does this game get off making me Flappy Bird? The robin flies to a small hill. They even gave me an achievement for it. Robin shakes its head and flies away. It flies and flies, and finally it lands on the back of a rhinoceros. The rhinoceros says, Everyone travels with all sorts of strange questions inside, but after traveling far and long enough, the answer that everyone finds what is, is it? that the truth is not far, or it lays within our very heart. It's a fucking cop out, man. Robin? <laughs> it's a fucking cop out, man. The Robin says, I mean, like an actual the one I want is Oh, we'll never know. SCP-239, what are you doing? What's going on here? What's happening? SCP-239, we have to work and rest according to plan. But I... Alex, clear up the mess. At once, Director. SCP-239. This is all for your own good. You must be obedient and complete tomorrow's test. After that, I'll give you a gift. A gift? A gift? All right. Wow, Nito! What if the gift is like bad though? Oh, gotta get out of here. Hang on, I'm done with this segment.
That was dumb, says a chat member's first message. You're dumb. You're dumb. You're dumb and I, I don't like you. And, 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 and or stepped. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. What is this? The formal presentation is next week. I'll see to it, Director. Is that a bird wing? Destroy them. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's bad. Oh, it's bad. It's bad. She just makes garbage. She makes horrible, horrible garbage. That's Rhino Chan. Good for me. Happy. That's all it takes for you to be happy? That's all it takes? A gift for me? Wow! It's like a fucking random wooden horse. She's a little girl, I know, and her standards should be higher than that. It's embarrassing. Uh, hey, you there? D-6744 calling Bird's Nest. D-6744 calling Bird's Nest. What the hell are these guys up to? And they're dead. My guy? My guy, I think they're dead. I think they're all dead. Director Tattoo. The experimental site has been fully prepared. The report may begin at any time. I wanted a PS4! Today's experiment. Are we at the very least? The fuck? The plan. Go. Check again. Why do you think any kid would fucking want this? I want Fortnite bucks now! At once, Director. How am I going? Oh. I went the wrong way, and thus I missed plot. Doctor Pierce, as you can see, I'm very busy at the moment. We'll be presenting Witch Plan's progress to the O5 Council shortly. Right, yes, that's just it. Listen, SCP-239's abilities are greater than you could ever imagine. Oh my god. She is infinitely more powerful now than when she was born. Oh my god. Your experimental procedures lack the proper controls. Any mistake. No matter how minuscule, could have irreversible consequences. Oh my god! Dr. Pierce, let us not forget that it was your previous missteps that caused us to miss the ideal incubation period for SCP-239. If we don't cultivate her using my method, the window of opportunity will be closed for good. Oh my god. But listen, if you go about it using your method, you will repeat the accident that happened seven years ago. You do remember, don't you? Heisenberg, Freeman, Claire? Enough, Sean. Don't you dare bring up their names. Seven Sean, years ago. The progress of civilization has always come with sacrifices. You don't get one without the other. To have the chance to harness the abilities of SCP-239, no price is too great. Violet. We lost Walter and Gordon that fucking day. Dr. Pierce? It's time. We lost good men that day. You go to the first floor to get front row seats to civilization's next leap of progress. Violet, listen to me. Violet. We lost a lot. Of, we lost a lot of good men that day. I'm gonna have to lose a lot more in the pursuit of unlimited power.
Oh, well, hang on, something's happening. They just made a bird alive! Yeah, I've seen it. Good, SCP-239. Very well done. Very epic. Right. Let's continue with part two. I've seen paper now, dragons fly around way cooler than that, kid. You're lame. Uh -huh. Yes, a home. Just like in the storybook. The robin needs a tree to call home. So let's give him a big tree. Robin, home. Not the tree. Wait, what? Gonna get Let's bad. Good friend, the Robin, a big tree. Are you? You keep saying big tree. SCP-239. I need you to follow orders and make a tree. SCP-239. Make a goddamn tree right no. now, kid, or it's the end of the line. Violet, chill out. What the fuck is your problem? No. Chill out. No. Tree, for me. tree, arise. No need to panic. Arise, this tree. All standard. SCP-239 will have a slight effect on the current when using her abilities. It's perfectly normal. Arise, tree. Tree, arise. Very cool. As you can well see, under my guidance, SCP-239's abilities grow more and more powerful each day. Over time, we will expand the experimental content, and we will see even more advancements. SCP-239, you can stop now. That's enough. <laughs> You know, the dragons wouldn't have done this. The dragons would have just flown back into their goddamn box. All right. One second. One sec, ma'am. Oh, shit, it's happening again. Hang on, I'm on my way. Should I put on a suit? Do I put on a suit? I probably don't need one. God damn it. Why won't it open? I just remembered I'm not Sean? here. Sean! Sean, the backup door outside. Help me open it. Come on, quick. Man, that glass doesn't stop any noise. I told you you were playing with fire. Cut the bullshit and let me out. She's you didn't notice I was an anime antagonist all along. <laughs> Should have checked my ID card. No. I even grimaced in it. No, Violet, I can't. What? What do you mean? SCP-239 is out of control. Why would I open the gate? Yes, the this one-inch thick door open will it. save me from SCP-239's incredible power, permit, Violet. But you are doomed. Talking crazy, Sean. This is not that! Open the fucking thing! An accident of this magnitude! It's just what I need to prove myself. Sean! Sean, don't think like that! We can work together! What's going on behind you? Do though? it your way! Your rules, your method! Whatever you want! Oh, we'll do. I know! I'll quit! I'll resign! I Quit's think the girl fell yours. asleep. You guys are probably okay. Use these learnings to improve the plan and equipment. I've never been so certain of success. No, Sean. Let's not think like that. I think the girl got Let's bored. You have proven invaluable Violet. Is there not a deadly event happening? Why are they having a full conversation? This all could have been compressed down to two sentences. Oh, she exploded. Got turned into this. One more door. Only one last door, and then the end of the line. 
Last run. D sixty seven forty four. The energy output is getting out of hand. How much longer? So this is the witch plan, huh? Are we anything more than tools to you? It's not about that. This is about saving the world. Either you fix this, or we're all screwed. That's what I'm doing. Then move your ass and do it already. Yeah, suck my nuts. Quitting the suck my the nuts, says the D-Class. Classic. Classic D-Class. Oh god, I'm gonna have to do a line-based puzzle. Okay, well, um... Up. Up. Wait, do you not even link the yellow ones? I guess yellow ones you don't link. Reach out, reach out. Yeah, you don't have to link yellow. I think that one's already technically linked as well already. Wait. Uh -uh. So I have to link everything. I, my brain, I can't, I just start from here. Uh, my brain, I can't. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh God, I'm hitting the standby screen. Oh God, ah, uh, uh, it's been four and a half hours. I legally don't have to be here anymore. Ah, uh, one thing is all it takes for the entire stream to end. That's all it ever takes. Oh, ah, uh, oh, I'll be back tomorrow. Yeah. 3 3 p.m. EST <laughs> 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 <laughs>